your campaign? I'm never ready for you guys to fuck up my campaign, but... <laughs> yeah, let's put it this way. I had a thought about what to do last session, but I completely failed to think about doing it. Hell, oh, boy. <laughs> oh, would you like to know what it was? What's that? Basically, I'm sorry. Just hold on. Wait. No, if it's what I think it, if it's what I think we get it is, that. you're going. If it's what I think it is, you're going to have some fun this campaign. Oh, I assure you. Kira, okay, I want you to repeat that sentence, and I want you to think about it. Mm hmm. Okay, not as dirty as I thought. You're a dumb dumb. You're stupid. But yeah. Oh. And Ty, you never answered what level of uh, firearms are in this campaign. Are we at very rare guns or emerging guns? Oh, sorry, emerging. But okay. it's gonna be. But you have to have like, you have to be like a rich kid to get one. Wouldn't that make them rare then? Yeah, good point. They'll uh, probably make them rare. Okay, then. Then unless, however, Westwood is behind the times in terms of gun yeah. technology. They probably would be since they're cut off from the rest of the outside world. So, well, yes, they cause... were until re they were cut off from the rest of the outside world till recently. So, yeah, Siwa and I have been discussing it a lot, yeah. and the information that I had been given, based on you know the information you yourself had given us, did not indicate they were at a high enough level of technology in terms of gun production for a gunslinger to exist. At least this kingdom in itself. Yeah. Which is the rest of the world, like the next kingdom over, has like way better guns. Like they're, you know, using machine guns. And they're like, what the fuck are those primitive savages still <laughs> using? Is, is that gunpowder? They still use. Janet, come quick. They still use gunpowder. <laughs> At best, Why? they have what? fun. At best, they have fun. Fine. Fine. At, at best, at best, at best the guns yeah. that are rare here is a little more common on the outside world. Basically, if. If let's say one of our characters would go down or whatever, you know, we can let's say we win the campaign and we said, you know, let's continue with new characters. We could play a gunslinger. Yeah. Got it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you want to know what I was They still use flintlocks, such antiques. All right, I'll, I'll just that far when I get to it. All right, what's your thinking? Basically, what I was thinking was is that something I completely missed last session with Georgie when he was about it's to war, shocking. when he was about to fade out. Tell him that Bazak told us to give you a message. What the fuck? Oh, I'd be bull faced lying to this guy. But yeah, basically tell him that Bazak gave us told us to send you a message. Hopefully Georgie would have basically went, and what did he tell you to sell me? To which I would have basically just dropped trow and just tried leaking all over him. And then scream, <laughs> Barry, hit him, hit him. I you're dumb. I, would anyone expect somebody to do that? No. Most this people don't this generally is, pee on people. This entire campaign is things I don't expect you guys to do, but fuck it. <laughs> well, I mean, I can assure you of one thing. Bazak and Karkindle are not going to go across your stupid bridge into the Blackwood to, for any fucking reason whatsoever. I so don't, until I you're level that. 20 and I, you have to I, take out I, I highly advise you don't do that. But however, we that's... might have a boat and go over to Sarazar Salas blah 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 blah, uh, the Salsa Kingdom, and hang out in the desert. That might be fun. Yes, where all the yeah, margaritas fall like waterfalls. You, you'll you'll talk to the natives. You'll deal with the paladins. They're fun people. Or unless they're paladins. Paladin. It's a, like I said. There's actually an order. Of, like I said last time. There's actually an order. Sarasara ran by three things: the merchants, the people, and the law. There's actually three. Four. There's actually the what's sand. That? I meant the as far desert. as desert. It's ruled by the nature. I meant as far as people is concerned. Yeah. Everything in the desert wants the to kill you. The most likely orders that I would think off the top of my head for a desert would be um, who cares? Ab Abadar, god of civilization. He has quite a few orders of paladins and knights. Um, Iomade is pretty common as well. Well, honorable warriors, upholders of law and justice. Hey, you guys, ready Third to start one. this campaign? Yeah. Actually, I start. I just start recording now. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, did you did you catch my joke with? Did you start recording before or after I did my little joke with the guns? Unfortunately, that was after. Dang, I, I actually thought I nailed that accent pretty good. Anyway, 
So, when last we left off, Ty? Uh, when last we left off, our heroes, along with various people from the four satellite cities, have retaken Westwood from Algarve and his corrupt knights. Algarve has retreated, and the corrupt knights has been buried in a... More like walked out like a boss. He's well, like, you know what? Fuck you guys. I'm out of here. I'm more or less. Shit. Algar- Algarve has, well, said, fuck you guys. I'll come back another day. And you people have decided to bury uh, screw all you guys. of... I'm taking my ball and I'm going home. Fuck you. Uh, I'm, I'm, going I'm going home. With blackjack and strippers. <laughs> I'm and, going with hookers and blackjack. And all, and, and all of you guys decide to throw everybody that's died, including the corrupt knights, into a mass grave. Well, the corrupt knights are in a mass grave. The people who saved were going to, you know... You give them proper burials in the funeral. Proper okay. battlefield burials. I, All right. I didn't, I didn't dig any fucking holes. My concern was with the living. I made food. I was. I, gave, yeah, I made I sandwiches. Was focusing, I mean, I was focusing on you know people at the tree hush of a temple, but I saved lives with that heel check. Yes, you did. Twenty-eight. <laughs> and meanwhile, our good old Car Kendall did his perform last rites check. Son of a bitch. With this silly perform joke. So the day, so it's now the next day. What is your next plan of action? I pray and make my spells, and then I make breakfast. We need to rally a small strike force to, uh, well, take the bridge. Take the bridge and make our imaginal line. Yes. I'm sorry. What was that last part? The imaginal line. They're totally not going to go around it. Oh, okay. Well, on the bright side, there's no country called Belgium anywhere near here. Exactly. Uh, that's an eighteen fail. to make. That's an eighteen to make breakfast. However, they have this lovely thing called the water. <laughs> and we don't have enough, you know, personnel uh, creating patrol boats to prevent them from just sailing across the water. Just pointing that out. Anyway, that's an 18 again. For yeah, obviously you make some good And food. doing an amphibious some... landing is actually quite tricky and they can only transport so many people at a time. Those are some... Let, let's remove the easy, the easiest route for them to take. Let's blow it up. Them some delicious Belgian waffles. Uh, Samuel, I don't know how the hell you got Belgian waffles. Is that Neither do I, I, actually. I, I made soup. drunk all the time. I made... I made porridge soup. Then what are these things oh, with tiles? Make large. Where the fuck did you get waffles? Oh, what kind of waffle? Button? Then what am I holding? You. Yeah, <laughs> but there is no waffle button. Then how did I get this waffle? Well, you can buy a waffle iron in in uh, Pathfinder. Yes, waffles actually do exist in Pathfinder, Daniel. <laughs> it's actually a thing. I'm st- I'm even. St- st- Mystify by that. Anyway. Yeah, you can get waffle irons. It's actually under the uh, equipment. And it's recommended to eat the mithril ones if you have the money because they don't stick. Yeah, they're they're the D&D equivalent of the stainless steel non-stick uh, copper. Which I'm assuming some might... Never mind. It, anyway. It makes clean up a bitch. Uh, so... Digo is the only Baron I know. It's still there. There we go. Yes. Digo and Barra is the only one that are still around. Els is still at the Roomswick and Leku. I don't. And, Le- and Leku's and Leku's back at her place. Since while she's while she's still at fighting, she's not a fighter. If you know what I mean. Uh, so, you wanna a, so you want to make So you want to make a strike for us? Uh, take the bridge. More like the guard towers that guard the bridge, but yes, we want to try and cut off the easiest way for them to retaliate. Maybe some of those experienced knights that we have, you know, just laying about that retired from military service, they look like they could still give what for. And those who are using the muskets seem to do quite well in battle. I mean, they they only blew off half their fingers. They still (laughs) have the other half. Uh, Yeah, the citizens are still getting used to those guns. I heard they actually made better stuff in the other lands, but uh, we're just now reestablishing contact with the outside world, if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. 
My word, Janet Locke, they still use gunpowder. Isn't this is adorable. You had to get that joke in eventually. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Craig, you look at how adorable their antique front locks are. <laughs> they probably haven't progressed to the point of commonplace guns yet. <laughs> They're probably no. Nah, I bet those. I bet those motherfuckers have like 16th century uh, fucking muskets by now. Yeah, because if it was commonplace guns, Vikram would know how to use a firearm. Yeah, pretty much. I was like, the outside world isn't that far advanced. Everyone else, as you would say, Vic Room have access they to the use gunpowder. How adorable. Oh, boy. And the very nasty um, advanced firearms become available. Do not put those in a campaign. They scare people. Oh, my God. People yeah. are the people are the dungeon master. <laughs> Everyone. Armor is completely ineffective against them. Yeah, pretty much. They attack touch AC. Up From to, six, in, six increments. Uh, five, I think it was. No, it was six. Uh, could be off. Whatever, moving if, right As on. long as you're with an advanced firearm, as long as you're within six range increments, you can attack their touch AC versus the uh, early guns, which can uh, only do it from one five. increment. I just read it. Right, moving, right, moving right along. All right, so where do you want to move this group out? Who knows how long before our Garvey's men decide to retaliate or win? Hey, and the girl, your accent certainly has changed in the last five seconds. He takes he takes a he takes a drink of alcohol. What you say now? Nothing, nothing at all. Well, the fastest method would be to destroy the bridge, but the bridge could be useful later. If we do plan a counterattack after getting properly equipped and uh, trained and armed, Ozon steps in and says, "Well, we wouldn't need a lot of firepower to destroy the bridge. We do have boats that could cross the water. I heard. Is that correct?" Got a couple here and there, from what I understand. I... Hmm. So perhaps destruction of the bridge would be useful for now. Um, do you remember? Does anyone remember what the bridge is made out of? Victor, that's mean, you. That most what is it made out of? A bridge or stone and. Vikrin, would you mind doing a history check? Wasn't he there? I walked over the damn thing. Oh, that's right. You did walk over the damn thing. Vikrin, you... he has to remember his own fucking history. I'm sorry. Vikrin, <laughs> you did remember that that bridge was made of stone and marble. It is very, very tough. And designed against any all elements. It's probably resistant. To, it's probably magically enhanced to resist destruction. Just throwing that out there. Hmm. Would the magic stand up to cannon fire. Uh, yeah, that's why it would be magically enhanced. Yeah, it would be. <laughs> well, we could. That's the one thing they to, would to, enhance it against. You would have to find someone that could remove that magical enchantment before you start blowing it up. For the In moment, we words. can at least bolster the gar. We can at least take the garrison there and bolster that air, bolster against any counterattack. The bridge is, after all, a choke point. Uh, we could probably just hold it with like barely a hundred men. Uh, that is a good point. She summons one for generals and discusses something with him, like. Uh, my oldest general here will go with you and just ask him for any advice you may have. We do have to. I, we still have to fortify the defenses here in Westwood. Who knows when the counterattack will begin? The secret to maintaining a good offensive is to maintain momentum. If you stall, then you fall behind, and eventually your enemies will rally against you and crush you. Uh, what we... is what? That, what that is true, you cannot never. You cannot let your guard down. The fort that is easily taken could easily be taken back. And we're, to, and we're cut Only off if you let them get to it. And we're, cu and, we're cut off, and we're cut off from behind, then, well... Yeah, she'll be so cut off from behind with this massive open field of nothingness. Look, keep people back here, work on getting the gates repaired. I'll leave the cro we'll, leave, uh, we'll leave the crosswomen behind. They should be enough to stop any minor counterattacks from the existing guard towers, even though they're damaged. 
if we can get the the gates are rel in relatively good condition and we control the inside of the city. The reason this fort fell so quickly was because we had people on the inside who opened the gate. Uh, that is a very good point. Very if well. We, and if we can get the bridge, we can cut off their we can cut off supply lines and reinforcements, forcing them to use amphibious landings. Which last time we checked, they only had one boat. They could have more, but it wasn't a very large boat. And as we produce more boats of our own, we can start patrolling the waters, making it even harder to resupply what few remain. And the chances of taking that bridge get slimmer and slimmer as we talk about it rather than actually doing something about it, he's, he says while cooking. Exactly. We'll have to get go there on horseback. Because, you know, Algarve la left the other day. I mean, it's entirely possible he's already gotten away horses. Yes, we have to get there quickly. Get his well, I'll, get I'll meet you there. Um, wouldn't it be faster for you to take a horse? It would be. Samuel? I. It would be faster with a horse. Grab oh, I disappear. <laughs> Hold it. I have perception. I can counter that. <laughs> can you beat it? Let's find out. Shit. Well, damn. Yes. <laughs> You like walk over to like one of his stew pots and you open it up and Pazak just inside it. He goes, "Oh hey, you found me." I What's close that? it. I I put the lid back on and tie it closed. Come on, Car. Come on, Pazak. We've got horses to ride. <laughs> you know I could easily get out of that, right? I tie it shut. Uh, I have a spell called gaseous form. I can just slip right out. Damn it! As soon as he comes out, I hug him. I'm still insubstantial. You can't actually hug me. I then inhale deeply. That's weird, and it doesn't work that way. <laughs> Jokes aside, let's continue. Yeah. Because after just doing the old-fashioned method and knocking Bizak out for a short time... <laughs> Probably. Nah. That we're, wouldn't we're be the immersion. decision. We're using immersion therapy to get him to stop hating horses. Thank you, is on the shoulders of a smelly dwarf. Now, if you guys found a different mountain, this wouldn't be a problem. So, uh, so you make your way to the guard tower, where you see Ooh. three What's guards this? patrolling outside the moment. The so, car Kindle, why does Pazak hate horses so much? Because they're bigger than him. Uh, He's jealous. He he jelly? Like, well, no, that's not the damn he reason. He told me why. Killed my family. Because he's still a baby at heart, that's why. They killed my family. He's related to the all-powerful chicken. Bazak starts punching Karkendall. <laughs> like, right in the upper arm, like, right there at the shoulders. So, uh, these guys... You're just jealous? That I descend from the mighty penguin. Oh God! I so, knew you were so gonna these, make a fucking joke one day. So these three guards, I'm presuming they're still with the old royal seal. Uh, yes, but they actually look at Victor and says, "Wait, you? What are you doing back here?" Because I'll try to look the same. I mean, assuming we're about, and then they see you know same. like. Another sixty horses with armed with armed men, muskets coming up behind me, and a drunken dwarf as well. And at this time, they three of them just start going ba going backwards. Like, hey, 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 what's going on here? Yeah, they couldn't have seen this coming from a long way off because you know it's just open fucking field. Well, it's not that they could; it's that they see the they see you coming, and then saw everybody else coming. It's like, wait, what? We're taking uh, we're taking control of guarding this post. The Osmodian cult might be moving against the city. We just had to recapture the capital from the traitorous uh, captain of the guard. Because you know these guys totally aren't with the Osmodians or anything. Well, I've got my bow out and it says, "So which side are you guys on?" Either roll up intimidation or sense motive to determine if they're going to be bullshitting us in the next ten seconds. Well, I could do that too. Twenty-six. 
I'm watching their movements, keeping an eye out for going for weapons. They want to defend, but they don't want to attack you. They're like, wait, this is the guy who gave us good food. I don't want to fight him. <laughs> I, I like, make friends with everyone, apparently. Well, that. Well, I thought about oh, that. I just thought about that just before I started. It's like, wait, you gave these guys food. I think yeah. they might be a l little bit nicer to you in this case. To which I'll remark, isn't it like the first rule of training is never anger the man that makes your food? Something Mother. you guys should be wise of. Wink, wink. At this point, they, one of them looks over and an alarm goes off. It's like, like, get into the towers, quick. We follow. Well, I follow. Yep. We're, we're going to get the people into the towers quick. All of them. Evenly distributed. And as you get into the towers quick, you see something walking over the bridge. He gets to the bridge and says and and uh, in very broken common, shall I say, one of you get out here. Status report. So when the guards come out. Oh, the second I see one the second I see one of these guards coming out, I'm knocking this motherfucker out. You sure you wanna do that? <laughs> uh Please wait. Okay, I'll hold off. Let's let the scene play out, see well. Let's yep. find out what's going on first. Yep. I would like, though, at least to try to identify it. Knowledge planes add two to this. I know what it is, I think. No, I don't. Sorry. No, CR. you don't know yeah. shit. Anyone else want to take a shot? It's I knowledge planes. Sure, why not? Uh, what kind of check? Um, I can... Knowledge planes. It's knowledge planes. Wow. Well, Samuel, you just look, you just uh, look at... He, if he's doing it untrained, he wouldn't know. He can't get above a DC-10. Yeah, you have yeah. to actually be trained in it. Oh, okay. Use... There you go, so 19, I and I am trained in it. Yep. All right, so Karkindo and Rimi just look at each other and realize, well, fuck, that's a nice devil, isn't it? <laughs> oh, sweet. Uh -oh. Ice devils are cool. You see, I you mean, see, oh, shit, that sucks. We're going to die. But hey, that's kind of fucking cool. You see the ice devil talking to the guard and he's saying, what? and he's talking about, what is right here about Wormwick getting overtaken? And the guard's like, I Wormwick, just got news. Wormwick. Of the Wormwick. I'm sorry. Oh, God, I'm sorry. <laughs> because, because I just, I just, I just, I'm Wormwick sorry. I just, is Lord Cat's world. I'm sorry. He played I, Westwood. I'm sorry. What happened was I was on my sound. I was on my SoundCloud account and I saw the name pop up, so... It's fine. It's fine. We saw that Westwood was taken. What's going... Uh, we don't know anything about it, sir. Do you see... Did anyone... Is anyone on the way here? Uh, no, no, sir. No one's coming. Uh, fine. Fine. Do you remember what happened the last time someone crossed this plains? Do you remember what happened to that person's wife and child? Be sure that doesn't happen again. While we continue working on destroying that damn temple, once that temple's destroyed, then we'll easily be able to retake everything from this place. But y yes, sir. By the way, sir, carry on. And uh, this particular guard, like right next to me, oh, I'm in my corner. Oh, this guy. I'm gonna cast detect magic on him. All right, go ahead. Well, I mean, I just simply do it. Do I sense any magic coming from him? Um, uh, well, it doesn't now he's not hard to find out. He has a geese spell on top of him. It's geese. Geese, sorry, geese. But thank you. I think like geese, like the animal bird. Yeah, geese. <laughs> like hey. the animal bird. Yes. Anyway, really? the, anyway, the really? ice devil, the ice devil starts marching back across the bridge, and just for shits and giggles, at the other side, you actually do see Minerva start tra training in that wood. Your sister's still hotter. Well, queen bitch is still alive. The guard runs back in. Oh my god, that was close. What the hell was that thing? That was a nice devil. I can't go into details. We call him Billy Bob. 
Like I can't go into details, but Wormwick is in very deep trouble. Again, we're not we're <laughs> Westwood. I, again, again. <laughs> ten nine eight seven six five four three two one Westwood. Yes. Geese. Geese. He nods. Hawk. Uh, shit. Raven. Damn. How many? Do you know any others who have the geese on them? Or no? It's just you guys. He probably can't answer that. Okay. He shakes his hand. I can't answer. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, crap. We're going to have to... Uh... Looks like we're going to have to send them back to the dungeon where we're storing the other uh, geese-affected guards. He waves like, we, we, can't, we can't leave. Shit. So... Uh, like I, I can, the geese prevents you from leaving your post. It's not just that it prevents us from leaving. It's not the spell that prevents us from leaving the post. He explains when someone crossed the black wood one day, and some of the Asmodian cult members found that man's wife and family. Uh, fate worse than death, I could tell you. Or like I, I have, I have my own wife and family to worry about. I get that. I get that. But at the same time, uh, who exactly commands you guys specifically? Like some commander? Are you able? I don't to think say he that can answer, answer that. that. He, he can't. He, answer he can't. That. He can't verbally answer, but he does tap the Wormwick guard them on his shoulder. So <laughs> he's alluding to it. Yeah. Westwood. The Westwood guard. The Westwood. This. Uh, 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 let me take a drink. Well, well, the Westwood uh, guard on his shoulder. I, I think one of the simplest solutions would be: can, can if we consecrate the ground around the uh, bridge, that should give us at least some protection. It doesn't last forever. It only lasts for a short period of time. Better than nothing. How long is? It lasts for like a couple minutes. It does not oh, last right. that long. I thought consecration lasts longer. You need a permanent spell to make it last longer. Right, Concentration only lasts based on my caster level. Never mind. Two hours per level. Exactly. Which means at most we can make it last for a day. Because I can do like ten hours. Well, at least with the two guys here, I at least give them at least a little bit of beer. Because... <sighs> they they drink. It's been a while since we had good alcohol. Oh, it is okay. Sammy Smith's specialty. <laughs> the, ah, the, the next, good stuff. The next best option is we could try to set up a defensive line farther back from this. That's going to be a bit that, tricky. That's not the only ice devil over there. That's all I can really explain. Or only major devil over there, should I say. Yeah, that, that was expected. I'm more saying that we have second defensive lines farther back in case they do bring an army over. Ambush them. Camouflage it. The guard nods. Is there anything we could do? Wouldn't I mean, it be wiser to prevent them from crossing the bridge in any number so they're more easier managerly dealed with? Delta we can't just... We can't destroy the bridge, we can't modify they it, we can't cross destroy it. destroy the bridge. I said don't let them cross it. If we set up here, then they're just going to fucking march all the way out here. And then they'll have a much stronger force versus if we were here, so they could only march to here. Smaller numbers, more manageable. I wasn't talking about just being several miles from this. I'm talking about building it just far enough back that we can camouflage it. So it's not obvious while still being defensible. You know, I turn to the guards and ask, if, say, the bridge got blown up, what exactly would happen to you guys? Do you know? Uh, tap one, yes. Tap two, no. Oh, my God. They, they both tap twice for no. 
Kira, I don't think you quite realize how a geese spell works, whether or not they speak it out loud or not. If they can't answer a question, then they simply cannot answer the question. They can elude, but that's about it. Yeah, but they cannot answer it directly. So the whole tap one and two and thing. If they know what, what would happen to them. Well, then they would simply just say yes or no, Kiri. That's what I'm getting at. If they can yeah. answer the question, doing this whole tapping thing would be a waste of time. They can simply just say yes or no. Yeah. If they're allowed to answer that question. Yeah. I mean, if they all first said no, we scout. don't know what will happen to us. I'll scout the area. Do I find enough defensible, various def positions that can be termed defensible positions around these areas that can, where we can hide people? And yeah, maybe a shovel and make an earthen work. Basically, yeah. Uh, yeah. Once upon can, a time, to can we World War One this shit? Yes, once upon a time, this was an actual legitimate guard post, so when you do look around, they are a little outdated. What's the word I'm looking for? A little run works, trenches. I about to say, I was about to say a little world, a world worn, but it didn't, it wouldn't take that long to get the trenches and the stuff in the area back up to combat strength, if you will. Considering it's all made of dirt and sand, rock. You, you know what I mean. Yeah. As in, some of the earth overgrew it, but it won't take that long just to toss off that earth. I mean, if grass is on it, it's not a big deal. It actually makes it yeah. better. Well, yeah, it's grass on it. Oh, no, grass is growing on my earth and work. Whatever will I do? Yeah, we'll, we'll have... We'll have the guys stay here on what exists currently and have them, in the meantime, expand it where they can without drawing attention. Have enough defensible positions to keep them back, and with, and with the muskets... That should buy us time. Pew 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 pew. Yep, I'm gonna ask the guard. Well, they're like, I'm sorry, sorry, could have answered much to you, but until we get the spell removed, we can't exactly tell you the threats. Though I'm pretty sure we can figure out what's going on by yeah. now. Yeah. Uh, again, it's probably gonna be a yes/no thing of like either you say you can or you just tell me you can't answer, but. Do you know if there's been any additional magics applied to the bridge beyond what was already there? We do not know. All we know is the magics that was applied over a thousand years ago to make sure that bridge wouldn't be destroyed by any major catastrophes. Okay, so potentially... I talk our cruise there. Towards. Okay. Great. We're going to have to turn this into Verdun, aren't we? <laughs> this right. It's Verdun. Alright, I'll get going on making some XV gas. Yeah. So in the meantime, what are we going to do, guys? Well. <sighs> hmm. Well, we have a few hands? options. If we can find a powerful enough magic user, we could probably get rid of this bridge for good. My guess is we'd probably be in Wolfden. Because that seemed to be, like, the really magically heavy area. Uh, I haven't seen any kind of indication that Westwood has any strong arcane magic users. Or we really have to go elsewhere. Users. They haven't really shown any penchant for strong high magic. I mean, hell, they barely have fucking magical items and, and enchantments. Uh, hence why I'm saying Wolfton would be our best bet. In, in other words, Westwood fucking sucks. They're kind of a general all-around town. We got everything, but we don't exactly specialize. No, they have, like, nothing. Again, the kingdom next door is going, oh, how adorable. <laughs> they still use Maybe. gunpowder. <laughs> Maybe we can go to that tower that Sally Moon went to. Maybe they have something there that can help. Ah, yes, the Crystal yeah. Tower. How long would it take us to get there again? Like, a week or so? It takes about five days to sail to the Desert Kingdom itself, and then, of course, the Crystal Tower is in the middle of the fucking desert sands. So it'll probably take another... This is from the DM, but it'll probably take another week in total. Five days of sail to the desert, and then two more days to walk to the tower. And again, yeah. in the middle of the desert sands. Just want to throw that out there. So, I mean, that's a hazard. 
just just so everyone's aware. Yeah, it's it's not a hop, skip, and a and a walk to Grandma's house. And needless to say, you're not going to be crazy mm-hmm. enough to go straight to the Blackwood, which yeah, it will take four days. It'll be taking it'll take four days through a lot of deep devils, and God knows what else is in there. There could be you know natural I, denizens there. I heard the be... ghost when I came. You came by yourself. You're <laughs> leaving of a party. Yep. Look, uh, I can I can get us through the desert safely. I know how to do it. Well, we can travel through deserts too. It's not that hot. And we're talking about the hazards. Yeah, the big hazard being it's a fucking desert. You know what sucks and you know what sucks and you can't find in the desert? I'm gonna summon create water on top of you. Food, water, <laughs> shade. Food we can carry an extra. We've got two handy haversacks now. We can carry months worth of food easily enough. We can also summon several days worth of food every single day. And when it comes it's to with proper clothing, magic. not that hard to get a hold of. We have magic. We do. We're clerics. Clerics of travel. And I'm just a good explorer. Oh boy. <clears throat> it's our best option in this case. Yeah, okay. it is. Randomly, Ty, how wide is the bridge? About 15 feet. Okay, thank you. Let's all go to the desert. Let's all go to the we're desert. To the Let's all go to the desert and get ourselves some death. <laughs> <laughs> Not until we meet with the Sphinx. Maybe we can get out that way. Sphinx? I can actually talk to them! Ha ha! The key to dealing with Sphinxes is if they ask you a riddle and you don't know the answer, don't fucking say anything and back away. Yeah. They take silence as a no answer. And they don't generally eat you for no answers. Just walk away. Slowly. So I assume your next trip is down more. Yeah, I want to go to Redwater because it's a better coastal town. Of course, we're going to fucking stop. Yep. Right, you're in Stout Moor. Obviously, as far left dwarves there used to be. Oh yeah, we left a tiger here. We just instantaneously transport ourselves over to Stothmore. Is the Baron here in Stothmore? Uh, no, he's back still back Westwood. in Westwood. Yeah. He, ha- he has he has some he has his wife in charge. Like ah, oh, b- boys, what brings you back here? He was what? married. Yes. When's the when's the next ship available for a journey to the neighboring kingdom? Uh, it should be the salsa next- kingdom. Ah, uh, Sarah, Sarah should be the next. Yeah, the salsa people. Oh boy, it should be the next 48 hours. We have a merchant ship that should the, be making people of the Sahara. Okay. Well, in the meantime, I know the word Sahara with a speech impediment. Well, in the meantime, we should get some desert gear of desert gear ready to go. We should have plenty of time. Are you looking for a headband of alluring charisma? You're not going to make it all the way to what's his to Wolf's Den to get that Remy, sorry. Okay. Not in time. And I'm like, what kind of gear would you have for that? For desert gear outside of like light clothing, hats. Um it, it it's it's called hot weather clothing. Or desert clothing, can't remember which. You actually do see a new merchant pop up. Building a shop and looks like he sells some desert clothing. <laughs> the way you, describe that. you do see a new merchant just pop up out of nowhere. Yeah, outfit hot Hello, weather. my friends. Come, come, come quick. Alibaba have what you need. What you need? Alibaba have. You need you need a, a turban? Alibaba have turban. He have fine carpets and camels. Alibaba have what you need, friend. There is no way I could top that. <laughs> Come, come, friends, come. What you need, Alibaba have. Just remember, half off everything we double. Don't think you by now. 
We each need a set of hot weather clothing. We're heading to the desert. I'm ah, hot, hot, hot weather clothing. I'd have it right here, right here. And we have one. You need hot weather here. clothing? Alibaba got! <laughs> I am Arabian stereotype. Come, friends. Come, come, come. Come, come, come. come. Would you like camels? Do not get close to camels. They spit and bite. How much per set of clothing its normal cost is eight? Yeah. Okay, oh, I'm this. sorry. I'm sorry I didn't catch it. Uh, yeah, you could have got it. We can get it at market value. Got it. Okay. But if you buy in book now, Alibaba will give you free camel. No. Oh, why you no take Alibaba's camels? I am sorry, Bitsy. They will not take you. Uh, what, 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 uh, excuse my insane brother here. Oh, uh, what, <laughs> what does, um, what do you require this clothing for? Oh, gee, I don't know. Hot weather clothing, we're in a part, we're talking to a, to a salsa people. Maybe we're going to the fucking desert. Ah, very good, very good. Uh, say hello to our, thir- our third brother twice removed, Andre, Andre over there. He should have some nice deals for you people, nice deals. What you need, Alibaba! <laughs> <laughs> oh, and be very careful of the, uh, be very careful of the Sarasara land, very careful. The desert is hot, and the mer- and the three rulers are crazy. Well, I think they're crazy. Define crazy. You have the people's merchant. You have the people's leader going Define against. Define crazy. The- Pazak just points to Alibaba. <laughs> <laughs> you have the people. You have the people's leader going against the merchant leader going against the the paladin leader. They're always butt heads, but for some odd reason, our our fair city still manages. We still don't know how. Which faith does the uh, which faith does the paladin order follow? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Something about a sand face. I don't know. Like, I, unfortunately, I, Alibaba do not have info. Alibaba sell you things. You want, you want info? You have to go to Bazara. What weapons do they wield? Uh, scimitars and falcons. Actually, they just wield swords, shields. Couple of them have guns for some reason. I don't know why. Spears, bases, a variety. Uh, you you realize, Kiri, that I can literally summon like twenty gallons of water at will every six seconds, right? I can just literally drench you in water. Yeah, like once or twice a day. It's a it's an orison. It's a level zero spell. I can do it so as many times as I fucking okay. want. I could literally, I could literally fill up this whole room with water right fucking now if I wanted okay, to. Okay, so it's like a I cantrip mean, from fifth edition. Yeah, I mean, I carry a, an extra. Well, water the cantrip thing. is the arcane version. Orison yeah. is the divine yeah. version. More and I can sure. Okay, then we'll just subtract the two canteens then from the order. Yep. Yep. I, I mean, I carry an extra water skin, but I'm just paranoid like that. For those of you wondering, the hot weather outfit is covering is a covering your let's see, the description is covering your body from head to foot in light, airy clothing, keeps you cooler than burying your skin to the sun. This outfit typically consists of loose linen robe and either a turban or loose head covering and a veil. This outfit provides a plus two on fortitude saves to resist warm or hot weather. This does not stack with any bonuses gained from the survival skill. Because what Ali Vavan have you need Oh boy! It, also, it means we don't have to go slowly through the desert. Okay. 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 So, I assume you're going to wait the forty-eight hours for the next ship to arrive. Yeah. In the time there, I'm just going to ask like. Nope. Zox is going to start swimming. Yeah. In the time there, I'm going to ask the uh, Baroness if I could at least help out around the brewery to make sure it's up and running good. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, yes. Sure. Go ahead. We finally. Uh, you're Sip. You're, si- you're the Smith kid. Yeah, your uncle or grandfather, he helped us get that brewery finally running perfectly. But you're more helping you go in there and help. Of course. She, she points it right to your way. And your brewery pretty much looks similar to your family-style brewery. 
Obviously some adjustment. Obviously some adjustments. You can't allow all the family secrets. Obviously. Yep. Alona and Eldara are still in Westwood. Okay, oh, uh, I'll I'll send a note with a courier to let them know that we're going to check out the uh, uh, the, uh, the crystal, crystal spire, tower. the crystal yep. tower, to see if there's anything we can use. Possibly bring our daddy over, so he can resume his seat of government. Now that the initial threat has passed. We could. It would be nice to have a an experienced leader. Yeah, or someone who actually can run his fucking kingdom. Yep. And make his own kingdom's fucking decisions instead of let a bunch of fucking murder hobo <laughs> outfits do it. <laughs> yep. Wow, Remy, that's actually an insane yeah. good role. Um, let me. You have a plus sixteen. Wow. Yeah. Where is it? Uh... <laughs> Okay, um, extraordinary performance, 3d6 gold per day, yeah, the DC 30 is the highest that that thing goes, so roll 3d6 on how much gold you're going to get getting. Uh, 12. <laughs> nice. Uh, that was a good singing young lady. Well, how, you. how long have you been doing this for? Of course, they don't throw the money because of the singing. They sh they throw money because of what she does while singing. <laughs> this will make this conversation even more creepier. <laughs> mm. And there goes monetization. <laughs> like, like I get monetization on any video I ever put up, ever. Technically, no, because it was implied. I did not spell it out, so therefore, it could still be a mystery. Anyway, two days passed. The ship arrives. Yep, I'm gonna be loaded up on probably additional uh, with additional trail rations just in case. When I get on the ship, there's a few things I'm going to do. I'm going to take my bag. I'm going to tie it securely onto something. Hey, guess and what? I will tie I myself have... securely onto something. Because I'm paranoid. Oh, when it comes to shots. Just to let you know, I bought a robe of infinite twine, and I taught, and I can use that to literally tie shit down. <laughs> I have enough rope for this. Kiri, might I make a suggestion? Yes. Take off your fucking armor. Okay, I put it in a bag. Vikran, uh, what does Vikran wear? Light armor. Okay, never mind. Oh boy! It's one thing that it become always becomes an issue. If you wear anything more than light armor and you get on a ship, you're going to die. It's just a fact of life. Every experienced D and D player knows you never wear medium or heavy armor on a ship, <laughs> ever. Yep. ever. Okay. Because trust me, if you go in that water, your ass is dead. None yep. of us can drag you out of it. You screwed. Hey. Give me a one quick second to put in the desert map. Why? Were you not expecting us to go to the desert? Soon? Actually, I wasn't today, at least. <laughs> uh, I hope you're ready then, bitches. Drop it here. Edge it up.
map layer. And after getting off the port, you are all... Well, let me move the marker. Not there. <laughs> We're on this side. Yep. We probably went to the place, we probably went to a location that's closest, that has a port. Yeah. Alright, so it's safe to put my armor back on? Yes. Armor back yeah, on! on. I am not evil enough to have you get killed in the water, yet. Yet. You say that, but unfortunately, Ty, I don't believe you. Shh! You believe nothing. I, I don't believe anything a DM says when it involves water and ships. Okay, I'm carrying 15 days worth of food, 3 days worth of water. Hey, it's from the... I carry an infinite lifetime supply of... Hey, from... If I can make it rain, bitches! Uh, I can create enough food and water to survive 15 people per day. Well, the good news is, from where you see, you can actually see the crystal tower right here. Yes. The bad news is, you're going to Wait, go all the way around. What? Let me finish. The you... bad news is, you had to go all the way around to get to it. Because this is a very steep drop, and you will die if you try to jump. <laughs> How far is it across? Thirty-five feet. Hmm. Could I could I get fifty feet of rope from your very fine coat? Or you know, we could just fly over there. I thought tangles can't fly. I can. We can with magic. <laughs> oh god, I forgot. I'm checking my fly speed, hold on. Sixty. Oh, yeah, you have 60, but I actually don't have your, the travel domain. I have the air domain, so I have other ways of flying. Uh, so and, also, and just to give you an idea, this is only part of the desert. Obviously. I'd also like to question the fact of how we were so close to the tower, considering we just got off the ship. Wasn't it out in the middle of the desert sands, not like right at the port? Well, like it. Well,. Like I said, I didn't expect you to go, come this far, so I didn't have the desert map fully ready yet. Yeah. Mm, you should plan a farther ahead. I should have. Let's see. Gaseous form gives me a fly speed of 10, and I can maintain it for 10 minutes. Uh, I'm going to spend about a minute pulling 10 foot of rope out of my, off my robe at a, per round until I have 60 foot of rope. Cast fly and basically walk from one side to the other. After giving Sam one end of the rope. Domain magic, bitches. Achoo. Hold on, you said it was how far across? 35 feet. Ah, oh, 35, never mind. How far down? Down? Probably about 100 foot. So after I give Sam the end of the rope, if he'll take it, I will then fly walk across the other side as I continuously pull more rope out of my robe of infinite twine. Well, looks like it's about time for us to start shimmying across. <laughs> oh, um, it, armor comes off again. Hmm. Suck it, Ty. You thought we were going to go down all the way around in your shitty ass desert, but you forgot <laughs> we can fly with magic. Because travel god, hallelujah, travel god, whoo, villain audio. Um, well, we did start this campaign by saying, this week by saying, how are you going to screw my campaign this time? <laughs> Ty, to Suck secure the rope. 
I'm going to summon an earth elemental, give it an end of it, and it's going to earth glide into the ground, securing it in there because it creates no hole. It just easily sinks in, so it, the rope fuses into the stone right there. I don't have to tie it to shit. What about the other side? That's up to Sam and y'all. Is there anything to tie it to? Unless you have another 50 feet of rope to tie it to the mooring, the yeah, mooring like line to the other side. Uh, you actually do have another 50 feet of rope. <clears throat> well, he gave us 60 feet and then continued to pull it out as he went across. So, so there's probably about 100 foot there. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. If you walk all the way back to the port, you could probably tie it to one of the mooring docks. How far is the port from here? Like I gave you fifty, I assume you've walked fifty feet in regular, in norm, in normal conditions, and then hit the de- start to hit the desert. Uh, better, better yet, Ty, I'll fly just a little bit back for a crystal tower that's supposed to be of great legend and mystery. It's really fucking goddamn close to civilization, isn't? It? Never mind, I'll just stay on my Ooh. side. Well, you gotta get supplies somehow. Nah, I'm just pointing it out. That, like everything we've heard led me to believe that it's like some Mr. Steer's Tower that like few have ever laid eyes upon, let alone seen, because it's like way in the deep, deep recesses of the sandy s- desert sea, not like, you know, ten feet from the fucking port. Well, after all that, Vikrin, you do notice one strange thing about the Crystal Tower while you're waiting for your friends. Yes. There's no, not Victor in uh, that, Carkindo. You do notice one thing strange about the tower while you're waiting for your friends. There's no door. Mm-hmm. We'll figure that out in a minute. If all else fails, I'll make my own. Well, yes, we can, we have spells for that. We can deal with that in a minute. Okay. <laughs> okay. Tie it off and then we'll hang upside down, crawl across from the other side of the rope. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. All right, so you are going shimmy right across? Yep. Uh, yeah. yeah. All right, so how are you going to get Samuel across? He's the one holding the rope. Oh, that's right. No, we're we're tying it, it off. Tied it off. Tied it off. All right, so yeah. I'm going to make a quick correction. Now, we're just going to wave at him and say, bye, Sam. I'm going to make a quick correction. You did find a rock that went another 20 miles back, and it was 20 miles in regular land. So yeah, you come across the tower, and there's no door. I... I could go detect secret door. Say again? He said he casted detect secret door. It's one of Remy's spells that she knows. She's able to magically find secret hidden doors. Yes, no, I actually, I actually didn't understand what she said. <laughs> I know. That's why I was explaining it to you, because Jim Pan has a very heavy accent. Because he's a fucking foreigner! No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm a fucking Jim Pan. <laughs> also, I cast Endure Elements on myself, so I don't have to deal with the heat. Even though you're not really dealing with the heat so much. It's a semi deserty environment. I still do it anyhow. Hey, guys, everyone, gather close. Gather close. I'm going to teach you a secret of how to deal with heat. I'm gonna create. I'm gonna cast. I'm create gonna. Water. I'm gonna keep distance from him. I know what he's doing. I'm keeping my distance. I just cast create water again right on top of you. While <laughs> you guys do that, Remy actually does find a hidden door right about here. Okay. However, obviously, it's locked. Where was the door again? Sorry, I was busy making jokes. Right here. I'm going to check for traps. Bonus is because I sometimes forget because it's so good. high. That's there it is. Like what, 16, 17. 34 right. to check for traps. Pizak, you know the door is alarmed at least. I will disarm the trap because as a rogue, I can disarm magical traps. Boom, boom, boom. 23 to disarm the trap. You fail. 
Intruder. Intruder. Danger Will Robinson. Danger. Danger Will Robinson. Pretty much. If he failed by five or more, it would have gone off. Yeah, I think Shindu had it right. (laughs) Danger. Danger Will Robinson. Whoever's Whoever's at the other side of the door knows you're here now. Well, I mean, we are technically... I mean... We're not expecting. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna fucking pull out that stupid compass and be like, "Yo, Sally, open the fucking door." Nothing responds. <laughs> you fucking cunt. It wasn't her. All right. It's her sister's tower. But she's still here. You have a feeling it's still magic. The tower prevents whatever spell you Sally used on the compass from going back and forth. Very well. Essentially, I it's, will ad- it's a, it blocks it blocks out magic. Is that the only trap that I found? That's the only trap that you find. Good enough for me. I did. I unlocked the door. Fuck. Unlock the door. <laughs> no, you don't. Eighteen's not good enough. Nope. Try again. Hmm. Twenty-two. It's not good enough. But the door opens anyway, and I have to move you to another field now. I mean, I was about to be like, well, fuck it, then. I just turn into mist, and I slip through the fucking door crack, and I unlock it from the inside. Because I can do that shit. I have more than one way to get around a fucking door. All right. Let me just remove her. This place looks like somewhere we've been once before. Or twice. Or maybe five times. You walk in, and, well, you're not gonna like what's waiting for you. Oh, I forgot to make a picture of it. Let me get one real quick. I draw my own gush. I got my bow out. I always have my quarter staff in hand, because I use it as a walking stick. Where's the exact door of where we came in so we could determine, like, how do we walked in? I was about to say right there. Okay. So, technically, since I unlocked the door, I'd be in front of everybody, so... Yeah. I'd be, like, here. And I wouldn't have a door on my butt. But he's the right height! <laughs> I'm gonna fart right in his goddamn face. It wouldn't do nothing over the smell, the his alcohol breath. Yeah, no, he would cancel it out with his stinky ass. Anyway, you peek around the corner and you see, well, a, a sentry golem roaming the grounds, mm-hmm. in in full combat readiness. Is he looking right at me? Not yet. What kind of golem? A chemical golem. Sally, call if you're a tech dog, or I swear to God, I'm going to break it. Actually, now that you're inside... Uh, what is it, darling? Wait, how are, we get, how are we talking like this? Well, gee, I don't know. Maybe the uh, fact that some uh, alarm went off on your fucking tower might give you an indication that somebody's inside. Can you take a guess? Oh, oh, right. The alarm doesn't come up to the lab floor... <laughs> Maddie always hated it. The, it sounds the alarm like she's kind of a moron if her fucking lab doesn't have the alarm in it. No, she doesn't have the alarm. Be- no, the lab is soundproof because her go- her golem usually murdered any person that came in it. Oh, 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 right. I have yeah. to. I should probably disarm it. Yeah. Damn. It's gonna. It's gonna take at least. Uh, 30 seconds, so, um, hold on till then. Uh-oh. Move! Move! Ah, stealth! <laughs> right over here. He <laughs> Prasak stealthed away. Uh, I just stealth away, Oh, fuck. Uh, bluff check? Pizza delivery? It's not gonna work. I cast Obscuring Mist. Oh, come on, you rolled a 20. Okay, Sam, Sam, 
for a blood check. It's a check. golem. Why does it care for food? <laughs> you cannot bluff the golem. Is anyone going to save Samuel, or else the golem's going to shoot a bomb at him? <laughs> I said I cast a spell to conceal him. I will stealth. I'm going to cast a fog cloud. And as soon as I bring it up, there it is. A bank of fog bills out from the point I designate, which will be right there. The fog obscures all sight, including dark vision, beyond five feet. A creature within five feet has concealment. Creatures farther away have a total concealment. All right, so Samuel's protected. <laughs> Well, he gets a huge bonus to his attempt at stealthing into it because he is at total concealment considering it's uh, that fucking far and it's a 20-foot radius fog around him. It's probably covering some of us, too. Well, it's 20 feet, so if you're within 20 feet, which is... Oh, yeah, that would do it. Which is us, not you two. So what roll do you want me to make for that? Like, plus what? Did you not already roll a stealth check? I thought that was his current <laughs> bluff check. Well, he's a moron. With total concealment. But what does total concealment it, give me as a bonus? In addition. To your... It, technically, nothing. It allow it. Let's see. What was it? Fifty uh, percent mischance, and the attacker can't use uh, sight to locate the target. So it cannot see you, but it can still hear you, assuming the golem can hear. All it sees is a big ass billowing cloud inside its tower. Now that may seem suspicious to it, but I'm betting I'm banking on the fact that a golem does not have the sentient thought to go. There's a fog cloud over here. That looks weird. I should investigate. Instead, it'll be like no intruders. Continuing patrol. I'm just gonna stand still <laughs> like a statue. Golem looks at the cloud and starts marching back. It lasts for one hour, by the way. Oh, so yeah, so yeah. A few seconds later, the golem sh you hear the you hear the word like, Sally doing like, okay, it should be safe. It should be safe now. You can pass it. Bloop, bloop. Okay, I'm just gonna keep giving that thing a stink eyes, a very deep look at it, just as we pass it. Just walking by. As you pass by, it actually looks like, oh, visitors, how are you doing? Hello. Hello, and welcome to Maddie's Magical Mansion. Do not forget to pick up your Mickey Mouse ears on the way through the gift shop. I'm going to avoid it. I just don't like it. Uh, probably no, but would you allow me to just use that previous uh, 20 I had for the bluff check of saying alcohol delivery or no? No. Alright, then I'm not going to bother. It's a golem. <laughs> it's a you golem. cannot bluff a fucking golem. Well, I could be lying saying that the person was having a delivery, but whatever. Here, I swear to God, I'm going to find you. I'm going to fucking strangle you with your penis. There's a, there's a fly steps going up and a fly steps going down. The flight going down is locked. Let's go up. Alright, you go up. <laughs> And while well, I remove the golem, because I'm too lazy to actually find the actual crystal tower map I had a while ago. <laughs> lazy bastard. Burp, burp, burp. And you've run into Sally again. Uh, it's been a while, my friends. How have What's you up, been? Bad wings. You appear to have healed well. Hello, Miss. Yes, yes, there is a large number of healing potions here. Bring me back to shape in no time. I'm sorry I'm sorry about the goal. Um, my let's just say expected less savvy company, just in case no offense, you failed in any way. Well, we haven't failed, but we haven't succeeded. We've only been able to retake the capital and just because sorry. <laughs> And, and don't we can to reinforce the bridge without tipping our hand. Uh, so what brings you to this land of magic and... Do you, you have know, something that can blow dust. up that bridge? Oh, so the king can probably come back to the kingdom and like actually run his fucking kingdom? No. <laughs> uh, that's what she would say. Hold on. She actually goes and 
So you're you look around, you're literally surrounded by books, potions, spells, and a whole lot of magical items. Not Don't touching anything. Touch anything. Zoxa like starts staring right at Samuel and just watching him. Like a hawk, even though he's technically a bird or a uh, crow. Yeah. My hawk watches people like a hawk because she is a fucking yeah. hawk. I mean, Samuel probably has his own thought of, I'm just going to share a beer with her because she's the first friendly face we've seen. Fuck it. Nope. Nope. Zoxa does not let you go near her. <laughs> he starts swatting at you going, no, no, bad. He's going to take like a... a some parchment and roll it up into a into a into a tube and start whacking you on the nose. I'll be the uh, one who deals with Sally, okay? Uh, be, be careful over there, this Miss Remy. I don't think I don't think Mandy finished that arcane circle over there yet. It might blow up. <laughs> okay. Anyway, mm -hmm. she actually goes through a few of the books and starts working on the and starts working on the alchemy lab on the side. So I need a little bit of this, and she said a tiny bit of this. Uh, but be careful, Miss Remy. These are very volatile chemicals, and, um, well, I don't want you to die. <laughs> <laughs> I presume the king is safe and sound? Ah, uh, yes, he's sleepy on the wing upstairs. I shall let him know that, you, that, he'll be, that you're ready for him. Just give me a few more min... Ah, uh, there we go. And she hands you a vial. Put that vial in my handy hammer sack where I'll be safe. Is, oh, there any, is, there anything, is there anything else you need? Hmm. Not particularly. I mean, unless you have suggestions for well, how to uh, prevent them from destroying the temple. Also, where's the king? The king is the king's in the bedroom, about two more floors up. What did you do to him? Nothing. Even I, even I have respect in this place. He's probably taking a nap. Haha, <laughs> crit on sense motive. She's telling the truth. That's what I thought she was. Watching you. Anyway, I should go fetch the king right now. He says going upstairs. And about a minute later. Hey. 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 Welcome. Sorry, I was taking uh -huh. a nap. Hi, your majesty. Like, I throw holy water at the, at the king. What Would was, you stop that? What was that for? I had to make sure. You can't trust anyone around here. Anyway, Miss Moon has given me a potion that has restored some of my mem all of my memories. I mean, I throw it. I would throw holy water at her, but I already know it would harm her and or not harm. Her. Uh, you're still a much entertaining person, Pizak. <sighs> After this adventure is over, we could have some more fun. I'm gonna throw holy water at her anyway. It actually hurts her this time. <laughs> She's probably not wearing the pendant. She's not. You, ah! see, you actually turn around, you actually see the pendant on both both her pendant and Archie's ring on pe on pedestals at the other side of the room. Yeah. She's over there going, ah, my eyes, my eyes. Ah, scream. Ah, why, why? <laughs> Yeah, she's like limping over to her pendant right now. Like, what? Well, it actually yeah, wouldn't really cause her over. actual. Yeah. What it does is actually because it doesn't cause actual damage. It just hurts like a mother. Yeah, that's oh why God, she's. Mother, shut up. Where are you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And she puts what and she puts it back more? around. And she puts it back around her neck. Why would you do that? He's he's going through a phase. It's, it's called phase. safety. It's called paranoia safety. We know she's a demon. Well, I also figured that if she was the real Sally Mood, her dumbass would be wearing that fucking amulet. Clearly, she was not. This is also a place to recharge the amulet to full strength. That's guarded by little kittens, apparently. 
Yes, um, yes my cat won't shut up. Uh, Maddie always did love kittens. They always were attracted to this place. Also, just out of curiosity, I would presume you've been looking into this. Have you found a uh, way to reverse the immortality on Georgie? Uh, I've been look. I've been combing all these books all this time. What? All right, Archie's upstairs in the main library. Yes, this isn't the main library. The main library is actually above. But neither of us has found anything yet on Georgie's immortality, even though we're the ones who gave it to him. Wow, well, you only made it. I wouldn't necessarily say you gave it to him. That was that was meant for Maddie, so the three of us could enjoy our lives together. <sighs> Such a foul man to use it, and then use me. If if there's anything left of him, I will I will show him the seven hells myself. Oh no no he he he's going to the nine hells himself. He's probably done uh, that, plenty of soul. That day. would be impressive, considering you can't get to the nine hells as a demon. You can only go to the abyss. I'll find a way. Life and there's also nine hells, not seven. Yes, I was just saying that. All right, nine. Yeah. Look, he's probably been involved in the soul trade. He's going there whether he likes it or not. <laughs> <laughs> Bob is like, slap Sam away from Sally. <laughs> Does she at least still have the plain, blank, non-holy tankard of beer? Say again? I offered her a basically a beer from a plain, non-holy tankard. Basically, not my oh. holy symbol. Oh, I'll... Thank you very much. And Archie actually comes down is like, uh, I heard we have visitors down here. Uncle! Ah! How you been? Ah, well, welcome, you. welcome to what was once my home at one point. I assume I assume you met our friend, the friend I came riding in on a couple of days ago. Hey, what was his name? Pi Pi Pee Pee Big Boy, Caboodles. Yes, it Caboodles. guards. It, yes, it's assigned to guard the tower of its life. There are many magical secrets Please, here Pee that, Pee well, Indeed. let's just say we don't want to fall into the wrong hands again. Uh, yes. So what? So what brings you here? Uh. I like Art, how Archie's magic. accent keeps changing every time he talks. Uh, picking up, the, we've we've been able to uh, stabilize the kingdom for the moment, bring the king back where he'll be safe, fairly safe, and you know, coming here to get something to make the bridge go away. Uh, well, if you need, well, we have this patented new bridge be gone in a can. <laughs> oh, Miss Moon, um, what you need, Alibaba? Miss Moon, any suggestions for how to safely use that? I presume it's not exactly a small explosion. Oh no, that thing will remove if that bridge. If this is the bridge you're talking about, it will remove the enchantment, and then in about I say two minutes, you're going to get a very big explosion. I say Sweet. about. Uh, I think I put enough in there for. Maybe about 20, 30 foot radius. Enough to turn night into motherfucking day, the original ma weapon of mass destruction, motherfuckers? Pretty much. <laughs> so, throw and run. Got it. Yes. Or, you, know, you can launch it at it as well. So you're I could tie it to an arrow. I could tie it to an arrow, technically. Yes, yes, that is an option. Yes, that's certainly an option. I would suggest that. A cat is attacking the underside. Went... <laughs> <laughs> a quick question. What would happen if a devil got hit by this? <laughs> they would be mildly irritated. I didn't, not... make, I didn't adjust it to deal with devils or in magical enhanced bridges, so you'll probably just piss it off, if anything. So fire it after the devil's off the bridge. Got it. Yes. I just wanted to make sure if I could do kind of, uh, you know, two birds, one stone. Again, like I said, an explosion of non-magical nature would probably just mildly irritate it. Like I can, I can make such an explosion that could hurt, that could hurt a devil, but it'll take about, it'll take up quite a bit longer. 
Bazak just pulls out a flask of holy water and goes, no, we got that covered. Also, I've he's got silver holding like, arrows. He's holding like four of them in his hands. And I show her a quiver of silvered arrows. Just How did you get those? I thought it was cold. I have my connections. <laughs> I see you boys are ready for anything. All I right. Always be prepared. Right, Carcando? I... L- let's just I'm say I'm never made prepared a... for anything. Let's just say so I made I'm some new friends up in, uh, up in uh, Wolf's Den. Always and expect at, the at this point, See at the this unseeable. Point, do the undoable. At this point, you actually hear a small ding. Like, oh, it's finally ready. Took long enough. Watch your fucking muffins. She actually goes oh. and opens up a small drawer and removes a tiny alchemical vial from it. So Archie's like, are you actually sh- about to pull out some fucking muffins? It's <laughs> like, oh, my muffins are done. Actually, the kitchen's another floor up. Two more floor, three more floors up. Maddie built this place weird. <laughs> like, are you sure about? Are you sure about this, Sally? Well, it's one way to find out. Uh, she please. takes the she takes the potion, and in one minute she thinks about something and says, "All right." Well, if this fails, it was nice knowing you. Uh, what are you doing? Three. Before you do that, what are you doing? Three, two, one. Uh, screw Andy Penny Smith. She checks. She checks herself. Is like, oh, hey, you're not dead. That's amazing. What was that? Well, obviously she broke the contract. My character wouldn't know. Temp, that. temp, tempor- temporarily. Oh, but I'm not. I'm not bound. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not bound by the contract anymore. At least for a short while. How long is a quote short while? One week. I see. That is fascinating. But it also. But this chemical also has one other effect that you boys might be interested in. She says, tossing you at least one more vial to um, Victorin. I catch it very carefully. It's not going he, to. He fucking he like fucking fumbles it and it smashes on the ground. It's like that's a week worth of work. I was like, I hope you don't fumble it. That's probably the only way you're going to remove a the Gia spell from anyone you need to deal with it. Is it temporary or permanent? That's permanent. How much do we need to give? Each person, because we got about what twenty guards. Uh, oh, unfortunately, 20 unfortunately that vial, that vial is only enough for three at most. So Good enough. To... You know, we got three guys that would be very useful with. That's that's super fucking convenient, considering there's three guards at that guard post. Almost like Ty did this intentionally, so we could do it to them. Hmm. I said three at most. You could probably stretch it to five. We'll we'll stick with three. But we can worry about the other guards later. They're contained. They've been contained in the dungeon. They're being fed. The other guys that worked willingly, well, let's just say they're on corpse duty. Corpse duty? Somebody's got to bury the dead guards. You was sure to... I know, I know this is a silly question, but you did purify the land you're putting the corpses in, right? Yes. No, of course not. They We're did. clerics of stupid people. We have, we have the entire church, temple, plenty of last rites were being done. Sure, it's a mass grave, not the best, but we've been doing it to all of the graves. They did. Zox going to like walk up to Sally and like pull out his holy symbol and go, no, of course not. Is he like kind of like Waves it in her fucking face. No, she, we would never she, consecrate fucking ground. She waves. She waves her hand in her face. Listen, I've been alive long enough to see people slip up. <laughs> we just, we're just like dangling our fucking amulets in front of each other's <laughs> face. <laughs> I was willing to try and pour beer for my holy symbol, but Bazak kept me away. Anyways, Bazak about- starts cracking his whip at Sam. Back down, you horny dwarf. Down. I about to say the last. I about to say the last thing we need to give Mavis was an instant ready army. Yeah, no, they're buried in consecrated soil. We have clerics patrolling when they're not busy, you know, dealing with the injured. Say again. I thought his name was Marvis. 
Marvis Mac. This is actually Sally mispronouncing on purpose. Yeah. Marvis Ma- Marvis Mavis Crackhorf. You could you could tell people she has no respect for and I, I, I just call him the that- necrophile. In more ways than one, darling. Believe you me. Like Marvis Maneuver and well I can finally say his name now, Argave. One of these things just doesn't belong here. One's not like the others. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What is Algarve's first name, by the way? Christopher. Yeah. Yeah, yeah don't worry. Well, well, we, we got pretty close. We got kind of close taking out Chrissy for you. He was caught without his armor. Can you catch him down without his pants? It'll probably be much more easier. And painful. <laughs> Well, he has a pretty good limp right about now because a certain someone, not naming any names, put a fucking tripwire in front of his door. <laughs> when he went to bed one night, he just happened to trip over it and twisted his ankle. <laughs> and since you converted that young, that young, cute little cleric, I don't think he's going to find anyone that's going to heal it for a while. They don't, don't have any other clerics? clerics? Not, good, not good enough to heal his Blows ass. Oh, good. Whew. They're all spiteful. She master. wasn't exactly. She, I'm not. Uh, she wasn't exactly a very powerful cleric, but I, I think when she said good, she yeah. meant as in a decent person, not good uh, and powerful. Yeah, exactly. Because you know, you know, priests of law have healing spells, but they like to only heal just enough to where the where it will heal on its own, but still be really fucking painful. Because they're spiteful jackasses. Yeah. Pretty much. That's what she meant. You know, they heal it just enough to prevent permanent damage, but not enough to remove all the pain of the of the whole healing process. So they're just going to walk around with the limp and shit. Well, we've got, a, well, we, well, we got three guys to cure and a bridge to blow up. So, Oh, and a king to put back in the castle. Yep. Good, good luck, my friends. I shall be here working on various potions okay. i'll give me a let me see your um compass for a second pizak i hand her my it's a trap not my holy symbol compass well, your regular sharp compass. compass she she takes it and takes a small vial and puts a couple of drops onto it the compass goes glows golden i and- cast detect magic to determine the magic and i will roll my spellcraft it's the same. It's the same magic that she cast on earlier. She's just making it so that it can actually penetrate the the crystal tower's walls now. I know. I just wanted to roll this anyway. Oh boy. Yeah. Okay. Good. So temporarily, you're free of the contract. Yes. We have so a way to take- cure those three poor bastards at the uh, gatehouses, and we have a way to blow up the bridge. Come here, damn you. Grease can said underscore pet. Oh, 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 oh no, oh, not protective. Sorry, sorry about pee pee down there. He's a little. Is it pee pee um, or pie pie? Look, we didn't have pie exactly. Jim six hundred sixty six. Look, you, you didn't exactly have a way for us to, you know, contact you. And I didn't see a bell that we could ring on the outside. Yes, yeah, Sally was very um. You mean peculiar? Mommy. Aren't you, Sally? Sit, He's Maddie. Talking about yourself in the third person. Yes, Maddie was very peculiar, though I can't kind of understand. I let's think just... the word we're looking for is crazy. No, let's just say you want to talk, Pazak. <laughs> I'm not crazy. I'm eccentric. Let's let's just say the merchants over at Sour Sour saw her more than the mage. Was it a witch? A sorceress? A crazy person? Based on this equipment, I'd say alchemist. More like play. Bad scientist? I was thinking plaything, and some try to exercise that. Hence, the golem downstairs. Mm -hmm. If you look closely closely around the wall, you'll probably see dry blood everywhere. 
Oh, I smelled it when we walked in. Oh, yeah. I see blood everywhere. As Bazak just kind of makes this weird <laughs> stare at everybody. <laughs> <laughs> that That's kind of why... This- <laughs> That's kind of why this floor up is um, soundproof. Bazak, don't make me put you on a horse. <laughs> anyway, gentlemen, have a good, have Never a pleasant sleep alone. <laughs> have a pleasant, unless you want to spend the night here, which the sun is going down. How dangerous we have, have a, a boat pleasant to catch. Vehicle. We have a boat to catch. How <clears throat> dangerous is the desert? Uh, everything in the desert wants to kill you, Carrie. Hmm. Even the very nature of the desert itself. Well, my character's never been in the desert, so... It would be very cold. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. the temperatures will be freezing, so we should probably wait till... Yeah. Probably wait till morning. morning. Wait till the... Best wait till morning. The, the, bed, the bedroom is upstairs. If there's meow, a... Sp- meow. Meow, meow. All oh, right, all oh, right. Half of you are gentlemen. Uh, hey, don't you eat that! Don't you fucking eat that! Just find me a place that's quiet and away from anything that could kill me, and I'll be fine. Well, there went down. Let me see some of that rope. Well, there went downstairs. How much do you need? We need to make a couple hammocks. Let's make some. Garkendo and Pazaka are going to sit down and do some arts and crafts, and we're going to make hammocks out of his fucking rope. <laughs> uh, Remy, I guess you'll be joining me upstairs in our be- in the bedroom. Yeah. Have a good night, gentlemen. Don't touch anything, please. Seriously, don't I, touch anything. <laughs> I'm setting up downstairs where the golems hang out and say, Hey, buddy, uh, I'm going to be sleeping down here. Um... Ah, uh, that might not be the wise decision, but uh, now, now that you told me not to touch anything, it makes me really want to touch things uh, now. Before you go, where would be a safe place for me? Oh, Fox starts cracking his whip at Sam. No, get away from her! Nope, I got him. Don't worry. Back of the neck, dragging him downstairs. <laughs> oh, I had a nice safe place with that I could have thought of. Whoosh. Drag him downstairs to the golem room. <laughs> yeah, we're hanging out with the golem. Again, that may not be the wisest decision. He knows who we are. Does he look aggressive or does he say, Hello, sirs, how are you doing this evening? Hello, sirs, how are you doing this evening? Hi, right, we're going to be, uh, be bucking down here. Is that okay with you? All right. Please be careful about the alchemy lab upstairs, and and please be very careful about the tomb, the tomb below. I'm that door is locked. It stays locked, correct? Yes, it stays locked. It is magic the the door is magically sealed so that no one may disturb Lady Lady Moon's rest. Eternal rest. Okay. Door's locked. You actually do, you wanna actually check the door real quick? I double check the door. Just for shits and giggles, you did see something try to tamble to open it. What? Something tried to open it. But failed. Was it a possibly five foot five uh, Tengu? No. Weighs about this, 80 pounds. This looked to be a while ago. Like how much? Like the last minutes? An hour ago? More more like the damage looked like it'd been done at least a few months ago. Uh, well magic the ma- the te- Yes. There's damage to this door. It looks a few months old at least. What? 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 I the go- the golem actually looks like what? No one was here. What? What? What, what you all about? Is he fucking British now? At this at this point, Archie comes down. Is like, uh, Pie Pie, what's going on, uh, sir? Sir, someone attempted to it to break into Lady Moon's resting place. What? He yeah, I see damage t- to the lock. I was double checking, make sure it was sealed because you know, mildly paranoid about this place. Hope you don't mind. Oh uh, no, I don't mind at all. Yeah, and I'm gonna be saying I'm bugging down here with Samuel. You know, gotta keep the door safe. Um, lock's damaged. Looks like it stayed sealed, but yeah, this no, this is two things. This, needless to say, this is where Sa- this is where Maddie is resting. 
even after a hundred years, she while we couldn't make her immortal, her body is placed in what we call a timeless coffin. Her her body her physical body will not age anymore. Let me she's dead, of course. She but, doesn't decompose. Exactly. Yeah. Basically she's she's, she's, she's in a gentle preserved. repose. Yeah. She's basically preserved. it's it, it's a casket that has permanency gentle repose. Exactly. Yeah. It also has her most powerful runes, magic, and her wand. Because, you know, in case someone decides to, like, resurrect her ass for whatever fucking reason, we still have uh, a perfectly well corpse for her. Technically, they can't resurrect her if she doesn't want to come back. I said if they wanted to try, they have a corpse. I didn't say they could force her. Pay attention to the sentence before you try to correct someone. Bitches. No. Quiet, you. So, yeah. Um, I would... Look, I'm not saying open the door and check down there, but well, but when we're here, totally you and check down. comfortable. She, at at this point, he's already casting the spell to remove the magical seals. Okay, I'm gonna stay over here and you know not piss off the vampire. Samuel, want to play some cards? <laughs> okay. That's a slur. Bad thing is like I'll. Sad thing is I could pull out a deck of cards if I could find the button. But anyway. Yeah, I know that thing. Hold it's on. kind of annoying in this. Cards? I'll play cards. Nope, you, you guys are upstairs. You didn't hear about cards. We were downstairs. Oh yeah, for about about ten minutes later, he comes up a bit more relieved and starts casting the rooms to reseal the door. Alright, nothing's been nothing's been in fear of for damage down there. And Maddie's still resting. Yeah, she's definitely still dead. In case anyone was wondering, she is still cadaverific. That's a relief to hear. I'll we'll, uh, keep watch, just in case. Yes, I was just concerned because, well, needless to say, the last thing we, the enemy forces need was of some of her power. And even if she didn't want to come back, well, magical, magical items don't exactly get to decide who their master is. I know you're probably going to be pissed by me suggesting this, but if you're so worried about this falling into the wrong hands... Have you considered blowing it up? Magic items can be disenchanted. He's, he looks at you as like... And all... With all due respect, never say that again. Understood. And he, quiet, and he quietly goes back up to the library where he sleeps. Hey, I was half expecting him to say it. So. Blank cards. Alright, so anyone doing anything over the night other than hopefully not touching anything? We use the robe of infinite twine to, to make us uh, hammocks. That's, and then we slept in them. Hey, right, sleep in the hammocks, and the sun starts, and you hear Sally, six hours later, you hear Sally waking up like, hmm, that was a interesting night's sleep, Miss Remy, a very interesting night's sleep indeed. What, what is your last name? Because Remy is not a last name. That's the most important thing now. Remy doesn't even know her last name. <laughs> She was abandoned as a child. She's a fucking orphan. Uh, good morning, good morning, gentlemen. And I hope you had a pleasant morning too, Samuel. I start cracking my whip at Sam. No, <laughs> down, horny dwarf, down. I would uh, obviously, since you're in the tower with her, you have also got any dreams she wanted to send you as well. Again. Uh, you, except you never whispered or DMs me what those could have been. Yeah, and I'm and I'm the boring one that doesn't get these dreams because I follow the god of dreams. I'm probably the only virgin in this entire party. Not the only one. Uh, who else would it be? Who's left? <laughs> Uh, no. Then no, I'm it. Oh, I thought Vicro was a virgin. No, no. 
He was with – dude, the sidearm piece straight up said, yeah, he was with someone. Oh, my bad. One time, yeah. and it kind of backfired horribly for both of them. So, yeah. She I mean, fucking down. Bazak and Karkendall and Kar- uh, write medical journals on every species they've slept with. Yeah, I, well, obviously, I know that Bazak is not a virgin. <laughs> and we're up to 36 spe- or thirty species. Yeah. Very detailed. Uh, anyway, gentlemen, I shall lead you out to the main door. That Bazak actually opens it up, and he's like, see, here's the one for Sucky. This is the area of their erogenous. Uh, before we head out... Let's point to different parts of the anatomy. Uh, before we head out, I asked Sally if I could have the uh, tanker die lent her last night. I started cracking the whip at, at Sam away from Sally. <laughs> <laughs> uh, perhaps another time, Samuel. I do need some memory of you. Well, you still have my that, that tankard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get a drink. I'll be back. Is she wearing that amulet, by the way? Say again? Is she wearing that amulet? Yeah, she's wearing the amulet. She does throwing more holy water at her to get her to back away from Sam. She doesn't. She doesn't. Woman, back. She doesn't exactly trust you right now after last time. (laughs) She's probably going to wear it until you leave. Yep, we're going to lead the king through the desert back to the ships and get back to the holy water. Back, demon woman. No corrupting the innocent. Let, let's just go back to the main world, man. Bazak, yeah. the cock blocker. After another week of travel. Right back. Yep. So, uh, so, I'm making a beeline for the guard towers and the bridge. I will slowly meander my way in that direction. I'll make a Q line. Um, so better yet, escort the, the king line. to the capital. I want to make an S line. <laughs> Would somebody mind escorting the king to the castle? All right, I'll bring him to the castle. In fact, you know what? Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. All right. Then the cloak of night, the king goes returns back to his castle. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll go. I'll, I guess I'll be going alone. So yeah, I'll turn up. How is our little garrison doing at the uh, uh, at the hidden locations? I was gonna come with you, Vikram, but so. Hey, uh, come, come. They're building up well. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull those three guards. I'm gonna and I'm gonna hold up the little vial and say, "Look, this will free you guys, and there's enough for all three of you." And I'm gonna pour them, you know, three three equal sharings into glasses. All right, they each take a shot. After a minute, they just look at each other and go. Well, you want to try it? We're free! <laughs> I guess. Um, <laughs> the, de- the, the, devil, the, devils, the devils are planning an attack from Blackwood into West... Oh my god, I can say it! <laughs> and then Good. it explodes. Now, <laughs> Good, now I've got some other things to do. Um, cover your ears, stay inside. What are you going to do? And... I, I, I'm not going to explain anything. I'm just going to do this. Oh, yeah, that was. I'm good. gone. <laughs> Into the night. I'm just gone. I get. I go up the bridge a little bit, chuck the thing right into the middle of the bridge. I hear the splash. Then I'm. Then I. Then I go back to the uh, thing and basically duck and cover. Uh, grab the guards and move them away. No, 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 the, the, the buildings will be fine. It's just going to be very loud. I am putting on smoke goggles, though, because I want to watch this. Ooh. You... Ah. All right, yeah, so Karkindle so Kar- and Vic get a nice view of the, of the magic of the bridge quickly dissipating and almost similar to a, well, not a mushroom cloud, obviously, but you get the idea. <laughs> The whole land almost shakes, and when the... Well, obviously, it can't change the graphics here, but when the dust finally settles... The bridge is gone. It's just gone. Nothing. As if it was never there to begin with. Well, yeah, pretty much. (laughs) Also, surprisingly enough, all the water that was underneath it is also gone. We've created a dead space where water cannot enter. Well, no, but you do see a pit. You do see a pit where the water is going into... 
Uh, we've created have, where a bridge used to be. I have a spyglass here that I could borrow. Daniel, don't you have a spyglass? Does the guard tower have I a don't spyglass? I think so. Uh, yeah, if you look around long enough, you'll see a spyglass. I'm going to pick it up and, uh, well, I'm looking over. What do I see on the other, on the other bank? A very <laughs> pissed off ice dump. Ice devil. And it's like shaking its fist at you. And a couple more, a couple of other ice devils, as well as Minerva. Let me actually put it. They're all shaking their fist at you. <laughs> They're all shaking their sticks like the old man telling the kid to get off their lawn. All, all, try, all, try, all try to examine what the fuck happened. Should, should I send them a little parting gift? You should just flick them off and be like, fuck you. Nope, I'm I'm going to draw the holy symbol of Desnon's paper, and I'm going to fire it with one of my normal arrows into a tree nearby them. They now see a symbol of uh, a holy symbol of Desna. Can you shoot that far? Yep, that better be one hell I have a check. How how far across is the bridge? End end. Well, it would be. Let's see. Well, yeah, I was about to say sixty feet. Oh, that's what well within oh, yeah. a longbow. Yeah. The longbow's like what, 120 feet, 150 feet? 100, 110 with a with my um uh my longbow. He can do it blindfolded. Yeah. Yeah, it's well within his range increase. He doesn't even have to take the penalty for shoot for for, for distance yeah. shooting. So yeah, there's an arrow current uh, that flew right past Minerva. It's currently in a tree. With it, and a little piece of paper rolls out, and it's a holy symbol to Desna. Minerva, Minerva looks at it, and with one punch to the side, mind you, not even her full current strength, she knocks the tree down, and then just looks at you like you're next. She's certainly gotten some better training. Maybe, maybe now she will actually put up a fight instead of go down like a bitch. So, bridge is gone. We've got a. We've got these guys on our side now. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London now, Bridge got blown the fuck up, my fair lady. Now all we need is a bunch of cannons that can fire day and night to the other side of this uh, river. Uh, that seems a little excessive, but okay. Mm. We're turning this into Verdun, man. <laughs> Again, a constant bombardment of fire seems a little unnecessary, but okay. Hey. I want those devils, when they go back to the Nine Hells, to have goddamn shell shock and never want to come to the human realm again. Uh, please, they are in a constant war. This can't be even remotely equaled by mortal kind. You think you're going to scare them with cannons? They were alchemical Ooh. silver air-bursting cannons. <laughs> Can't they even fought, make such a thing without going they fight all back demons. to the crystal tower. They've been fighting demons for over an eternity, but yeah. long before your kind ever existed, yeah. and you think you can scare them into the hell. Yes. <laughs> You're an idiot. With enough silver, yes. And who's going to fund that? That's a lot of money. Oh, chemical silver is actually quite cheap. Again, a constant bombardment would be unnecessary. Yeah. And a lot if of If there's nothing to shoot at, why are you shooting? Look, we've bought in time for ourselves. That was the plan. The bridge is gone. I'll vote that we just punch Seawall. Everyone in favor <laughs> say hi. <laughs> Me. Hi. Let's all just punch Seawall. Whatever. So, uh, moving right along. Okay, so the bridge is gone. I think now we can be a bit more overt with our... Uh, Defenses. Yes, you see, you see yeah, the king. Yeah, totally can't figure out that you blew up the fucking bridge. They'll never yeah. fucking do that. They know you blew up the fucking bridge. They just gotta figure a way around it again. They have to rebuild the bridge. Or it's, it's called or... swimming. Get a dinghy. Yeah, it's only sixty foot across. Yeah. This is what I mean, the narrowest like point. Pontoon bridge. This is what the narrowest point across. I see. We're good. I mean, of course, that's why they put a fucking bridge there. Yeah, that will be the nearest point across. Yeah. So unless you blew up either the land behind you, or somehow blew up this land, eventually they're going to find a way across again. We've delayed them. 
And, well, flaming arrows are quite efficient at dealing with, you know, wooden temporary bridges. Uh, assuming they, they actually use mundane sources, keep in mind they have extra planar allies. Very powerful magic, something that the Kingdom of Westwood seems to be lacking. Yeah. Yep. Just throwing that out there. Yep, I'm going back to the capital. All right, back at the cap, back at the capital. The king is actually speaking with the with the baron. The baron knows on about the defense triumphs. We bought some time. Bridge is gone. I thought that bridge was magically sealed. We made it go boom. Hey, Don't worry boom. about it. You get that uh, Sally. She's apparently very good with alchemical with alchemical ingredients. Alchemy. The word you're looking for is alchemy. Look, the bridge is gone, and we're bolstering the defenses we have there. Oh, the bridge is falling down. Oh, that's down. good to know. I have these Is Eldara these... nearby, by the way? Say again? I said, is Eldara nearby? Mr. Ty, who I was speaking to, not his silly character that he was voicing. Oh, yeah, she's at the church. Awesome. See? Awesome. Allie, I'm back. I'm gonna give her a hug and then one. Oh, welcome, welcome back. Where have you been? It's been a week. Actually, it would have been two weeks by now. Well, two. two weeks, it's been a couple of weeks. We had a couple of skirmishes, but uh, not enough, not enough to do any damage. Ah, I was in the desert. Come on, let me tell you about it. Then they wander off to go story time. Oh, uh, let's check on the princess. How's she doing? She's fine. She's actually she's actually is talking to the I guess makeshift new Westwood military, yeah, like discuss the discussing about what happened during the, the retired ninths. Pretty much discuss discussing like they have, as Aldora stated, they have small skirmish. Um, a few zomb a few zomb a few zombies attack, but they managed to shoot them off with firearms. Oh, welcome, welcome, welcome back, she said. Glad to be back. Bridge is gone, we bought ourselves some time. Uh, but how much, but how much time? Well, they were planning 20 minutes. To, well, they were planning to do a full-scale attack in a couple weeks. Maybe bought an extra week for them to have to try and figure another way out. Hopefully we can get some more boats in the water and uh, start patrolling to prevent... Aquatic landings. We're bolstering the defenses at the narrowest point. Should make it tougher for them to build some sort of temporary bridge. But now we have to find a way to deal with them in a more permanent sense. Hmm. There's one way, but no one's ever gotten to it so far. And that is... The Holy Temple. The reason is... At the trying very, to dismantle it, or at least working on it right now. She, her, her eyes literally light up like, no, no, they can't. And she actually goes running to her father, following behind her. Baby, come back. You can blame it all on me. That's ver that's very dis disconcerting. What my singing? No, the temple being dismantled. <laughs> you call that singing? I call that squawking. I am a tango. That temple's the only thing that keeps that vile Blackwood from this side of the world. If they somehow to remove the holy... If they can somehow taint it, well, we're going to have a very long war on our hands. I really wish Bazak was there right about now, because I have a burning question I need to ask. Uh, well, unfortunately, we don't. I don't believe we have the magical potential within Westwood right now to state to stage a counterattack, let alone the military might. They have they have devils walking around, and not just one. Yes, they have very angry devils that shake your that, that shake their fist at you angrily with <laughs> layers. But the but what the bridge destroyed, as you, 
if what you said is true, then with the bridge destroyed, they should at least change their efforts in order to attempt to rebuild it. So, And we have a defensive force there that can harass them. Uh, very, very good. Very good. Is there anything you need from me at this moment? The last time that you fought them back into Blackwood, who was the, you said the, who was the one who sealed that temple as a holy site that contained them in the Blackwood? The queen. <laughs> <laughs> It was my it was my wife, naturally. Called it. We're gonna need to find somebody with a similar power. Well, considering she was only a fucking ranger and you have clerics yeah. just run we, around. Yeah. We're gonna need allies in this little conflict. Mm -hmm. A lot more than we have. So, mm. there is one. Well, Assuming your, your socioeconomic political situations allow you to want help from any allied possible nations. Not that yes. we're saying that you should compromise the security of your kingdom. But this does have the possibility of affecting other kingdoms and out of maybe just a sense of pure self-interest, uh, they'll want to assist. Whether they want to wasn't the point I was making. Whether we want them to. Yes. Or rather, more specifically, whether Westwood wants them getting involved. Just Perhaps it is a good idea. Oh. He was about to call for the captain of the guards, then realized there is no captain of the guards. <laughs> yeah. Oh. You need to get a new captain, bitch. Oh, dear. Sire, 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 a familiar female voice actually cues up and walks into the door. Is it Tiger Bitch? It is Tiger Bitch. How bad no. does she look? I don't remember what her fucking name was. Ferris, she you live. She's, she's bandaged up to all hell, but she's actually alive. Is her other tiger with her? Sadly, no. Aww. The other tigers did. Oh well, not my problem. Paris, you live at barely. Have you ever fought a hell knight? Jeez, even 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 a crip. If if that dude wasn't crippled, I'd be dead. Bazak, Bazak, always winning in the end. You all thought it was a silly joke, and, it, and instead it turned out to be a deciding factor of the future. Yep. Your Highness, until a proper captain could be decided, might I take the role? Well, you are the only officer left, so there's not exactly much of a choice. Fine. Until, until... I mean... He uh, could, you know, just choose some random street urchin off the street, but like you, you're gonna be the captain of the guards. <laughs> and there's like, but I don't even live here. <laughs> He's gonna choose Pazak. Hell no. <laughs> Pazak's gonna take one look at the king, but like you, goddamn, lost your mind, haven't you? Fine then, fine. Oh boy, fine then. Here's your first order as the interim captain. Contact. Contact the three leaders of Sarazara. We're going to need their assistance. The Salsa people. The paladins, at the very least, would probably want to assist. They, you know, hate the idea of corrupt, corruption and evil spreading on the surface. Corruption. 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 <laughs> corruption. <laughs> corruption. Yeah. I had a temporary stroke. Uh, we the term you're looking for is the uh, stroke. Any anyway, give me. A bit, I'll be back. I'm going to get something right. Really now.
Oh, and also at this and also at this point, the leaders are actually returning back home. Mm-hmm. Everybody, go home. Why are you still here? The movie's over. Get out of here. All right, folks. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. No, you definitely have to go home. There are farms and shops that need to be attended to. Out of curiosity, what did everyone acquire in the lap between sessions? Anything fun or useful? I don't have enough money to get what I wanted. Uh, I just basically enchanted my weapon and armor. I'm holding on to most of my cash. I got a bag of holding and some other various bits, but that was when I had time up in Wolfston. A bag of holding? Sorry, or... Andy Hammerson. My bad. Because, you know, he had a lot of equipment, too, Daniel. Well, actually, yeah, I've increased the amount of equipment I have. A little bit. I'm assuming that putting a bag of holding in a ha handy haversack could be the same as, like, putting it in a portable hole. Nope, actually, it would create a rift in dimensional time and space, uh, sucking in everything in a black hole, and killing everything. No, you can, oh, put a, you can put a bag of holding in a handy haversack just fine. No, you cannot. Yes, you can. No, you cannot. Yes, you can, Shendu. No, I specifically can't. looked at this fucking rule repeatedly. The only one that yeah. caused the explosion is that portable hole. It says specifically in the portable hole entry and the uh, uh, bag of holding entry, it only happens with those two. When you put a bag of holding into a handy haversack, the bag of holding just becomes inaccessible. You can you have to pull it out of the bag. No explosion. Creating a dimensional rift in time and space, sucking everyone in to it like a black hole. Well, we obviously know. I don't want you to shut the fuck up. Look, Jim Pen six hundred sixty six said, "I don't know." I think we know what we have to do. When we come across Georgie, we need to have somebody throw a portable hole, and then have somebody throw a bag of holding into it, and have it. Actually, you know, that can destroy like half a continent, right? Uh, like actually, no. You you need to you need to you need to put a portable hole into a bag of holding. It's specifically that way that causes the sucked to the How astral the plane. Other way around. No, 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 the other way just. Anything in it just kind of pops out of existence. It's basically, same end goal, but no explosion. Yeah, so no little black hole then. And it'd be the perfect way to deal with problems. Uh, no, it wouldn't, because it would kill everything. That basically only uh, like it only it only has a radius of ten feet. It only has a radius of ten feet. At first. No, nope, just ten feet, then it's gone. At first, and then it gets bigger. Shendu, as it I becomes self-sustaining. You do not know these rules. Shut the fuck up. Okay. First what, off, what, see what? I do know these rules. Extra-dimensional spaces do not mix together. And second off, don't you ever fucking goddamn tell me to shut up again. Do I, Am I clear? No, Shendu. These are Pathfinder rules, not 3.5 rules. Pathfinder's more forgiving with bags of holding. You can and put them I don't feel like listening to you anymore. While I'm listening to you guys discuss me throwing, discuss Nathan throwing my big bath into a dead. black hole of death. <laughs> Hello? What? Hello? Day turns into night. And, Pizak, you have a very interesting dream. Oh, boy. You dream of the day your parents died. Awesome sauce. And near the end of the dream, you're hearing a knocking on your door. Well, your he heavily barricaded door. Okay. Son! Son, are you in there? I like, why, why don't you help the us? door keyhole. It appears to be your parents. Yeah, hey, I'm not opening that door. Why don't you help us? Please! We need your help! He starts praying. He blocks it out using his prayers. I'm gonna roll over. What are you doing, Pazak? Blocking out evil nightmares. Go back to sleep. 
Karkindo, you actually still hear it too. Huh? You hear someone screaming, We need help. Please help us. Oh, great. Endless Traveler of the Wayfinder. Protect us from this evil. Okay, when did your. Are we having a communal nightmare? Shut up and start praying. I'm gonna hate um... Um, Ew. Gonna sit cross legged and begin praying. And while that's going on, Vikrin. <laughs> We're not playing your fucking game, Ty. We're clerics. We can block that shit out using the power of faith. <laughs> <laughs> Suck it, slut. Oh, God. Vikrin, you actually also get a weird dream about your first relationship. Oh, and so. Well, well, the first relationship ended neutrally. It's the second one that went bad. Well, well, the second, I should say, the second relationship. Then we pick that one. Whichever one is bad. All of a sudden, the woman just suddenly transforms right in front of you. <laughs> yeah, but the weird thing is, you actually hear that woman's voice from outside your bedroom door. Extra dimensional spaces, such as road Yep, not possible. Pulling out my holy symbol and doing my general stuff. These spells <laughs> and. Oh, Destin, the great dreamer, may this dark, <laughs> may this darkness uh, leave my doorstep. You have three very devout uh, followers of faith, Ty. You're not going to be pulling any silly things on us. Combine the fact that I am too. following the god, I'm also following the god that is known as the great dreamer. Yeah, you'll, you'll be, you'd have better luck fucking with uh, either Sam or uh, Remy. Well, Remy probably is... Sam because he gets mm. drunk enough. Yeah, his mental defenses would be much lower because he probably is a fucking alcohol uh, coma. Well, and we usually share a room, so. Well, Remy's having her own issues since she's <laughs> in since she's in the castle. Of the princess, the princess is saying, "Do you hear that?" Hey, well, that so wait, Remy's that... sleeping with the princess in the castle. Damn, what the she's fuck moving did up that, in the did that happen? <laughs> That's what we call a whore, but... <laughs> He's like, that sounds like my mother's voice, but she's dead. Are you sure? I'm pretty <laughs> sure. <laughs> she saw the corpse. Are you sure? She saw the Check, she's still rotty. She, last I checked, her skin was all rotty. Pretty sure that means... Yeah. It's all corpsified. Yeah, it's all corpsified and cadaverific. Oh, Do boy. I hear something? You definitely hear a woman's voice going, Daughter? Husband? Is everything alright? Sound the fucking alarm, boys. It's the uh, witness that comes before before death rises from hell or begin the be the start of apocalypse and revelations. I see what, where it's coming from. You peek in, and it's actually coming from center, the center area of the kingdom. Don't that. Pizak, you also uh, get, you actually, you hear knocking on your... Uh, no, you, you might actually want to hear your... Okay, oh, Tom, what, what, what would, you, would you shut up for a minute, Pizak? Would you shut up for a minute, Pizak? I need help. It's Aldera. You more go go fight each other. You more go go fight each. Do I hear her? Since we probably have rooms next to each other. Yes, he's saying that she could hear the voice of her parents. Aldera, don't listen to him. I just assume I'm snoring. And and Samuel's and Samuel's just and Samuel's just watch and Samuel's just watching all of this from a distance. Like, what the fuck? No, he passed out drunk. Pazak is in such a concentrated state. He's actually able to hear anyone. Like, he is hardcore into his prayers, blocking everything out. He is oh, not listening cool. to anyone. So, day turn, so night turns into day because I couldn't, I couldn't have you aim you guys stumble onto an encounter. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, when you start making weird nightmarish creatures, the first thing the cleric's gonna do is start fucking praying to his god. Good boy. To reinforce his, his faith and, and armor. And then you went after the guy who is deeply religious and follows the god of dreams who knows this god would not send him a dream like this. And then you have one that's too passed out to even wake up, and then Remy, who's a whore, and is hanging out with the princess. <laughs> yeah, basically, I, I just imagine every time they wake up, they see me hugging a keg Jim of ale. 666 said, I love you, Jim Pan, but your character's a whore. Oh, boy. So the next day, you see everybody in the kingdom, like, half sleep. Like, imagine my wife or my girlfriend or... Pretty much anyone who's passed away or anyone they have bad experience with. I'm I'm going straight to the temple and grabbing every destined priest there is. Uh, you're the only one. A priest. Also, Destin is very popularly worshipped. Not you're, here. Remember? Everywhere. General. Pre- you, General. You, 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 grab the, you grab the head priest. Look, we've got people messing with dreams. Get as many destined priests you got, and uh, we need to put some protections over this town. Yeah, all one of them. Eh. Eh, the, the king gets a cup. The king gets a couple from one of the couple of the neighboring towns. All three of them. Eh, Samuel looks at this amused and thinks, "Just drink yourself to sleep, like I do." I will actually note that Bazak has not exited his room. You more going by the shower, you more going by the shower, you more. Even after the voices stopped, he hasn't noticed. Well, we're not going to hear from Bazak till midday. What's everybody else doing? I'm going to be working with the priests where I can. Usually at this point, Villari would have given him the all clear. We are praying even harder. Because <laughs> the voices go away, it doesn't mean that the danger's gone away. I'm just looking confused. We haven't seen the sign. We opened up our eyes and we didn't see the sign. Ding! There's a sign. <laughs> <laughs> Prize are done. Ding dong, the witches did. The witches did. Oh, I'm going to show tunes. Uh, uh, fucking watch me do hickey today. Mood. That's where I was looking for. Mood. Oh boy. So you enter town and the gold just arrived. Like, you want me to get what now? Cannons? We don't even have cannons. What the fuck is a cannon? Well, yes, cannons. You've heard of them. Yeah, I've heard them. You mean the big-ass boom tubes that we can't actually fucking make because we don't know how? Because they're, like, from fucking four kingdoms over? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I can't. Like, I can guess all of Ty's dialogue. Uh, you, gotta give us about, you gotta give us about a month to make them. Really? Yeah. Ain't, ain't know, special. Our, our gun technology sucks and we can't mass produce shit. Look, we're still in the age of we're lucky to have a goddamn guild. Yeah. Anyway, I gotta go and get to work. And you see the Baron starting to walk out. Mm. With cannon, with cannon strategically placed, that should actually even the field quite a bit. Hmm. Cannons can do some pretty serious damage. We're gonna need to get crews trained up on them, though. It takes time. Yeah. I'm trying to think. What can I do to be evil? I don't like the sound of that. He wants to get us in an encounter, but since we ignored his one that he just tried to throw at us, he's looking for another way to make us fight something. Which I really don't without a, a Grandmaster ass pull, so... Damn it. <laughs> 
Okay, <laughs> that plan went out the window. Um, I think we just avoided fighting a specter, yep. probably. Actually, you did. Yes. It was going to be two spe two specters. With limited magic weapons, oh goody. Yeah. Well, we have two spellcasters. We could have fucked it up. I think we could have taken it. Out there, look, looks at Pizak like, "Is everything okay? I tried to call contact you last time." I was in the throes of prayer, blocking out the evil that maligned the world. It disappeared around daybreak. I assumed those weird dreams... The Aria was a little slow in getting back to me. She's kind of flaky sometimes on, on appointments. <laughs> She's a little She's flaky traveling. on appointments. She's busy traveling. Yeah, she doesn't have roaming miles. Oh. She doesn't anyway. have those, those rollover roaming minutes. <laughs> she has roaming charges. Yeah, you actually get a chuckle out of her. Uh, while this is going on, you do get one of the guards to come back and actually properly report to the king everything's been going on. I throw holy water in his face. Like, what was... She says, what was that it's for? It's a phase. It is not a phase. I am making sure you are not a devil in disguise. She takes off her helmet, looks... She takes off your helmet. You see a striking red <laughs> off of my helmet. Beauty. Her helmet. She, you see I a throw striking, more holy water in her face just to make sure it hits her. You see a striking redhead and is like, "Do I look like a devil to you?" You're a redhead, so yes. Evil takes forms far from foul, and I'm gonna throw more holy water in her face. Zach, you already did it once. You don't need to do it twice. This well, will be the first time she was wearing a helmet. The third time, yes, I did. I'm going to throw holy water at Vikran. Your Highness, I'm sorry I'm late for my report. Like, these brave gentlemen has freed me, and, well, I believe we know about Captain Argave's betray betrayal and attempt to overcome the kingdom. I have, I'm here to report that Argave was last seen heading back into the Blackwood. It seems that he has trying to gather a large army of demons to storm the castle. The bridge exploded, but there was rumors that there was another way they were planning to get across. We need to prepare our defenses as quickly as possible. Oh, God. <laughs> do, you know, do you know how they plan on getting across? Well, the second way was to, from what I heard, the second way was destroyed when some group of murder hobos, as one of them call it, destroyed a factory they had. I smile like the hearing. Yeah, that the way. pump. Yeah, the pump house that was putting that acidic sludge into the water. That was us. Mm. Oh, that was actually useful. Yes, but they said. Yeah. But they said yeah, they are trying to do that a lot, you know, be useful. But they said they're working on another way of getting across, and from what I heard, there's at least ten ice devils with that's going to be following behind them. Well, I mean, they're probably just going to like freeze the water. And it's only like thirty feet. Still, that's even more of a concern. That means they could come across any time they want. Still. Though the Brit I see. Any suggestions? Silver bullet alchemical silver bullets for the musket men. And you know they only have like less than a dozen of those, right? Maybe we should work on the crossbow bolts instead. Mm -hmm. We can do both. Mm -hmm. And the bowmen. So. We'll have, bo we'll have bowmen at the towers, ready to go. Make sure they're armed with alchemical silver. Devils are weak to it. Have them I'm sure focus. they would, considering the fact that they specifically deal with an Asmodean cult. It'd be really fucking stupid if they didn't have something to counter devil. And while you guys are actually... And, and Asbazok says this. Everyone's and, going, damn, that was a good idea. Maybe we should have done that. 
And yeah, while you, you know. they're thinking about this, the siren comes from the towers. Oh, great. Hmm. And you actually hear, you actually, and from the castle wall, you actually hear bullets going off. And yeah. isn't the bridge like a day away from here? You can still. The alarm is loud enough so that he's like, "Hey, you have a day before something actually comes to attack." No, I got that. It's just you. You said from our walls we, we heard gunfire. Fire. It's like I don't. I don't think our oh. bullets can travel oh. over a day. Oh, good point. But yeah, you do hear an alarm. Like, what going the fuck off. are we shooting at? <laughs> yeah, you do hear an alarm going off. I'm guessing that's not good. That no. means something has came across, or at least found a way across. So definitely not good. When is an well, alarm ever good? Well, I'm going to start praying and preparing for battle. I'll see you guys in a minute. Drink it if you get it. Uh, Victor, well, if they still... just breached, they wouldn't, they're not going to yep. be here for a day. Victor, I assume you still have your spyglass, right? Uh, I left oh. it there. I didn't bring it with me. Oh, well. You fool. It wasn't his. It was the guard tower. Yeah, I borrowed it because I wanted to see what was going on on the other side of the damn river. I would Stream sworn. thing. Stream thing? I don't know what to fucking call something this thin. It's not a sea. It's it's a, a channel. A straight, a straight or a channel. Yeah, there we go. Just thought of it. <laughs> you're, a, you're a special kind of dumb tonight, aren't you, Seawall? I'm sorry. It's two in the morning and I'm tired. Oh, you poor baby. It's 3.30. You an ass. Oh, boy. So, yeah. About half day <laughs> passes, and you start to get a clearer image of that same ice devil you saw before walking towards the kingdom. I, looks like Ty is gonna get us to fight in this encounter, whether he fucking likes us or not. And he's like, "You're gonna fight something. I'm gonna make you fucking fight something, whether you like it or not. You're not avoiding all of my encounters, you son of a bitch." So well, you, well, you do, well, you do, only one. Well, you do have the advantage as long as you're close to the kingdom. You still have gun, gun, and arrow fire you can use. Everyone, stay by the walls. Yep, this is why I packed out chemical silver arrows. Question. Answer. How close is he? He's still about a quarter of a day away, but you can start to see his image. The silhouette's not exactly hard to figure out what it is. I see. I'm going to do some fancy disappearing act. <laughs> And I'm going to try and, like, disappear into the shadows, and I'm going to try and go here. I'm going to stick with the uh, squads of bowmen, riflemen, uh, musketmen, and uh, crossbowmen. I'm going in the field. Fucking Rambo. Fucking Rambo. Yeah. Wheel of warfare. He's getting, as he gets close, you can obviously hear, see the temperature drop. You see the bowmen and gunsmen. Almost all right. Like open the grass fire. starts to turn into ice. I'm going to stay in the tower so I can see out over the battlefield and yep. be safer. <laughs> yep, I'll probably be hanging out next to Kirk Kendall. <laughs> hey, it gives me. Hey, it gives us the advantage. We have the height advantage and pretty much total cover if this is a properly built castle wall. And I'm on the ground. By this point, he's nearing the castle wall. It's like. Is like, I think I could take this by myself. He obviously doesn't say that, but. And of course, you hear the crowd open fire! And well, Fuck now you hear gunfire. Yep. <clears throat> pew, 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 pew. And of course, pew, the devil's starting to march through it. I guess I should roll. Oh, some. goody, inspire courage. That makes my life a lot better. <laughs> I, should, I should make some sort of initiative rolls. So, this is only one ice devil? You want me to send 10 after you? I was just asking. I wanted to make sure. 
<laughs> 20. Hey, I'm not going last. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> I scored below average. I score way below average. Wow, Remy scored way below average. <laughs> what? You got a four. I'm at one. Uh, you have a higher dex than me, so just type it as 4.03. So I gotta, like, slam my fucking keys to get it to goddamn punch the number the way I want it in. It's finicky. scared. You should be. Obviously, the ice devil's thrown continuous way towards the wall. So that will be his turn for now. Go Let's ahead. See. Attack opportunity? Burst of Radiance right there. As I pop out of the bushes. All right, what does it do? Uh, I'm going to need a four to two, I think it was. Let me make sure. Let me just pull it up real fast. Uh, nope, it was reflex. I need a reflex save. You need a reflex save? You get your reflex save. There's your reflex save. reflex save. That beats my DC. So instead, you are dazzled. Let's find out. What does Dazzle do? It's Daze, uh, so it, it dazes him, and if I'm correctly, it means he only gets a single action. I believe we answered this question last time you asked, too. You are dazed for four rounds. Dazzled. As it's worded. Dazzled. Dazzled. Dazzled, Dazzled is different than dazed. Oh, you're right. It is. A uh, creature is unable to see well because of overstimulation of the eyes. Dazzled creatures take a minus one penalty on attack rolls and sight based perception. So that is a minus one for four rounds. Yeah. All right. I mean, it had the first same three letters. I assume they were the same words. They were, in fact, not. <laughs> but because he's evil, because he's a devil, guess what else happens? What? Slash R five D four. You take that much damage, and no, your damage resistance does not block it because it's holy light. Bitches. Oh boy. As I just flash bang them with holy, because that's what burst of radiance does. I'll do my standard stuff, and I will be deadly aiming this. Either hit him. Let me double check. No. A 28 misses? Wow. Oh. I still ain't. Um. Oh. Wow. His AC is higher than 28. It's a 32. Sounds like somebody metagamed. Sorry, 28 is really, really good roll at this level. Kirkendo, anything you want to do? We did point out that we wanted it to be a little bit more <gasps> challenging. I'm going to cast Fly and hover above the battlefield for right now. <laughs> I fly above you, <laughs> Grand Walkers. <laughs> be silent, Grand Walker. Samuel. Probably the only way I'll get this to work. Pop into a rage, and I'll go after him. Full, uh, full attack. Attack one. Attack two. No. Nothing. You have to, at minimum, be rolling an 18 to hit him. 
I crap myself in fear. Read me, bitch. Um. Are you guys adding your uh, bonuses for Inspire Courage, by the way? Oh, yeah, I did not do I that, did. so that's plus two then, So, but still doesn't do anything. Still miss. Mm. Just pointing it out. Mm -hmm. Y'all gonna die! Yeah, <laughs> fuckers are about to die. You landlocked people are gonna die! I'm not landlocked. You on the ground, you landlocked. No, I'm not I'm in a tower. I have, total the, cover. I have the domain of air. I can fucking get out of here anytime I want. Yeah, I cost blindness. <laughs> what does she have to roll to defend against it? Um. I like how instead of 4.03, Remy's is 4,003. Because that's a comma. Okay. I believe blindness four, is a fort, yeah, fort save. Yep. That definitely beats your DC. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The devil! Actually, just looks at everyone and laughs. <laughs> so these are the heroes. Pathetic. I'm the only one that's hit it. Why not? Bullshit magic. And he's actually going to just sit back and laugh this turn. Should probably get my actual dice on so I keep trying. Bizuck, go ahead. I'm going to cast Sound Bust right there. You take seven points of sonic damage. Actually, plus two. Or yes, you take nine points of sonic damage because of inspired courage. Assuming your range reaches that far. How far? No, wait, never mind. We've already determined that. Yeah, I'm with you. And I'm going to need a fortitude save from you. Never mind. Continue. <laughs> you punk. You still take nine damage. You slut. Victorin? <laughs> I guess I'll have to switch to a uh, single shot. I'm not going to deadly aim it. I'm just going to do a standard shot. I miss. You miss. Garkindle. I'm going to summon a fire elemental. Five foot above its head, so it can fall on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what does it do? <laughs> well, I mean, first it lands on him, so he takes damage from having a fucking elemental land yeah, on him. Yeah, what? Of like, what's the damage of that? <laughs> I That's up to you, because not many people do this. And of course, it's you know a fire elemental. Instead of a magma elemental, which is I thought what you were going to use instead of fire, but there you go. I'm just going to roll a d20. And fire roll. burns hotter than the magma. And well, I'm going to add plus ten to it because of fire. All right, so it takes twenty damage <laughs> as a fire elemental just lands on top of. A and it attacks and misses, so. Samuel? Alright, since that's flanking, so that's plus two. <gasps> yes. Oh, please. In addition to the plus two you're already getting from me. So you have a plus four to your attack. And you still fuck up. I at least got you one. No, he's dead. I don't think two. that last, last one hit. 
32 is the magic oh, number. <laughs> it sucks to be you. Remy? I caused sound lost. Or... Uh, guys, we're forgetting about um, spell resist. Summon does not need spell resist. No. The two spells that Shendu used, he didn't go after the devil's spell resist. It's a bit late now. A little late now. Yeah. So okay. Remy has to do a caster level check against a spell resist before I can do before she can do anything. Okay. Okay. So it, Remy needs to roll her level. So one d twenty plus five. Spell fails. Womp womp. Quick question: Is the ele- can the elemental be attacked? Yes. Yeah. yeah easily. So he just laughs and is like, "It just oh, you, you pathetic fools. See how weak, see how weak your so-called champions are." And obviously, oh, he's going after the elemental. One? I like so that. the elemental heals. Woo-hoo! I was like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> he does have a minus one to his attack. I will point out because he's still dazzled. Although it does not affect damage. No, it looks like the macro got screwed up. I was like, "What the fuck?" Okay, let me use another. Let me use another attack macro. Should be 2d6 plus 10 damage. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at in the macro. Then it dies. Just let it die. Yeah. It, it dies. Was... It just dies. Uh, Daniel, how high up in the air are you actually flying? About 20 feet. I say. How high up in the tower is Vikran? Probably near the top. Tower should be at least tower should be at least 150 feet at least. Oh, it's a cat. It's the tower of the main castle. Of course, it's going to be. Well, if it's going to be that high, I'm going to have to be rolling a minus two. Okay, hundred hundred feet then. Yep. What are you talking about? Of the main castle, it's it's the watchtower of a. Good point. It's like right here. Yeah. That's the castle over there. Yeah. Learn your own geography. <laughs> mm. Don't you know what to do? I'm going to... I'm going to cast Divine Favor on myself. That's what I'll do. This increases my attack and damage by plus two. All right. And then I'm going to move. I said I'm going to move to here. Won't, won't just be able to turn around and smack you. I mean, it can, but there's also like another target near me. Yeah, good point. And Vikrin, what's your plan? Firing arrows. It literally just holds up his spear and blocks them. Yep. Nothing I can do. Mm-hmm. Alright, Karkindo. Summoning a magma elemental underneath it. <laughs> it. So it pops out of the ground trying to wave its arms at it. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> Nice. Uh, it has to roll again to confirm. Uh, 
doesn't confirm. No. I'll harm you, Hogan. Oh. So it has a fire elemental dropped on it, and now it's sucked into the ground by a magma. Isn't that fantastic? Samuel, you go. Well, tech one, tech two. Nope, and no. God, you suck. Can I get a good roll? Because you suck. You have a plus 18 and you can't hit. Because he needs a plus 14 to hit at minimum. Read me? Any way you can help out your friends here? Don't suck. <laughs> I... Hmm. I don't know. If... I. Hmm. Come on, Jim Pat, make a decision. I don't know. You just well, want to skip this turn? There's nothing we really can do. We're fighting a creature that we shouldn't be seeing till 10th level. Well, give it a minute. I do have a plan for this. Yeah. <laughs> don't be a bitch. Make a decision. <laughs> Always go into every fight expecting to win. Never die. Uh, Hmm. Always fight to win. I cast blindness again, guy. <laughs> All right. Roll your level. See if you can get through his SR. Plus, plus only a D twenty. Plus five. five. Nope. The Ice Devil just looks at you all and laughs and goes, I've seen what all I needed to see. You guys are pathetic. Your fucking face is pathetic. And it actually is starting to walk off the field. It's like... Don't you walk away from me, slut! When the time comes, you will all bow. And unless anyone's stupid enough to attack it, that will pretty much end the combat. No, the Magma I'll... Elemental will try to swing it from underneath it, trying to trip it will... up just because... I want my attack of opportunity, damn it. And you can take your attack of opportunity. <laughs> Good luck hitting it still. And my second claw. Would that be against Flatfoot? Those no. actually hit. Uh, oh, no. 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 no he, oh, they missed. Flatfooted. Oh. Then, yeah, they both and missed. Technically, he moved out of flanking, so I don't know if that would technically count. No. So yeah, combat combat is over. You will get credit you will get credit for it because it was just a scout pretty much saying, Now who are these people destroy keeping bothering our master? Then I'm gonna fly uh, and land in the tower. I'm gonna, I'm gonna replay my meat spin arrows. I'm gonna meet spin the devil as he walks away. The devil might just turn around and throw a spear at you. <laughs> Still meat spinning. Oh, boy. I cast Gaseous Form and then disappear. No, no. I cast Obscuring Mist and then Gaseous Form. So it's... I literally disappear. <laughs> Alright, so the devil has walked off back towards the guard towers. You see the woman in the little fray like, what happened to my friends? And after, right. assume, after she assumes the devil walked off her a bit, she starts running back to the guard tower herself. I'm I'm stopping her. But why are you do get out of my way? You run after that thing, you're gonna get yourself killed. If we're gonna go after it, we're gonna need to have a large group. That's the only chance we have if that thing decides to come back. But what about my friends? 
What? They're What's dead. Happening? There's one of two things. They're either dead and there's nothing we can do, or the devil left them alone, and he's probably going to leave them alone on the way back. Or kill them because of our insolence. She... Either way, we can't rush into this. She slumped against the wall. We'll get a party of um, we'll get a party of musket men together since they've got the best shot of actually injuring this thing. So what? And then we'll go. What what happened down there? The king asked. We couldn't touch. We got visited by an ice devil. Are you gentlemen all right, lady? Just. Mocked us. I feel fantastic. We're uninjured, but the status of the guard post is unknown. We need to get some of the musket musket men and head down that way. I like to call them the Minutemen. Hey, my kidding, my, kidding, my kidding, high, no, no, that was a joke. Don't do it. Actually, I was about to say my high school football team's named the Minutemen. Really? Yeah. Yep. Have Minutemen. Well, good for you. More common than you think. Well, more of an East Coast thing, right? Yeah, I, you massive yeah. New England. Well, New England. considering uh, where the term came from, it's not yeah. surprising. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll get the we'll get the musket men ready by tomorrow morning. Hopefully, he doesn't come back during that time. It's not like we could stop it if it does. Anyway, I'm gonna go vomit somewhere. I'll be back. Later. <laughs> I'm basically. Just I'm gonna go vomit all of my fear and then go pray. <laughs> I'm gonna drown my fear in alcohol. I'm gonna change my shorts and wash them. <laughs> Zod just finds like a blind alley where nobody's watching. He's just like, Hoo -bleh! Hoo -bleh! I'm just gonna go Holy back. Shit, to we the... almost died. I'm gonna go back to the uh, temple and just meditate in the shrine to death now. And inside, inside Aldera, and inside Aldera, offering some prayers, general prayers as well. To whom? That's the thing. She really is still confused. But <laughs> like it looks like she's alcove and doing like some prayer, <laughs> some like super non denominal generalistic prayer to like. But, eat but at the at the current moment, she looks like she's leaning towards this now. Well, I'll be walking into the temple and going towards that shrine, so she may try to chat me up. That's lame. Well, After everything I've done for her, that traitor's whore. She's too busy praying. That bitch! How dare she! Desna is a bit more of a structured faith, and with what's happened in her life, she does need some structure. She needs freedom to explore. Which is un which is very common underneath Desna. It's just there's some slightly more structure among the priesthood. Hey, what was that for, Karkindo? That was an accident, so don't worry with it. It's just a number. It's just a number. Oh boy. Just a number. Look, guys, I'm getting pretty tired. Hour, yeah, I was about to say, it's a good time to call it early. Yeah. So, I can re so I can rebuild a couple of the accounts you guys dipped around. Yeah. Eh, it's but... not our fault. You, you tried to play mind games with two clerics, and we are like, nope. <gasps> Praying to God. Uh, that does remind me. What exactly is uh, next week's schedule going to be like? Because I know for a fact I'm not going to be there for the 19th. I was about to say we could skip the nineteenth one because I have my jo I have my quote unquote interview on Wednesday, so hopefully this whole job yeah. thing comes up within the next couple of weeks. Nice, but I do want to say after that ass pull I pulled at the end, you all do level up. Woohoo! Yay! Hooray. Six level. What happens at six level for me? All your dreams come true. No, there, there, I could swear there's something specific at 6th level that uh, uh, the Spellless Ranger gets that's useful. I, I could be mistaken. Uh, so yeah, short session. I'm 
about to go to bed because I'm actually getting a headache. No offense, guys. No problem. All right, good night, fellas. That's what lots of people tell me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not you. It's a long day. Right, have it's a good always night, me. Oh, I have a great time. Oh, my combat style feat. Uh, I get my next combat style feat, and uh, my stealth attack goes up, even though I don't use it that often. Well, talk to you guys later. A uh, quick question though, oh, why? You know, I'll be full attacks, since I now can do two attacks in a round. Does that mean I get two full attacks or just one full attack and a regular attack? Okay, you get three um, separate attacks. Yeah. So basically, what you have is you have your main hand first attack, your off hand attack, and then you have another attack from your main hand. But remember, there is a minus two um, because of the two weapon fighting. All right. Against each attack. Yes. All the attacks are at a minus two. Mm -hmm. And you use the base attack of whatever it is that you're using on that third attack that's like at a plus one versus a plus six at this point. I need to get my bow upgraded with holy... Yay! Eight more HP. Yeah. So yeah, I was trying to get you guys in the fight to justify giving you the next level. Yeah, scored below average, but not that bad. Oh, I got a fucking two. It happens. I've had a lot of low rolls. Hey, Ty. You. Yeah. Out of curiosity, do you ever get my messages on Discord? Uh, yeah, I got them. Okay, just randomly saying because I like the ring, the ring of substance. What's your parent retaining skills and your character sheet? Yeah, I see him. Okay, you well, I can't. I can't he felt lonely because you never talked back to him. I'm sorry. He thought you were not returning his love. He was feeling lonely and and you know disliked. I was just making sure they went to the right person. Yeah, I got, I got them. It was just I had the last few days of work just want to make me punch people. If you know what I mean. That's every day at work. Certainly on our fucking job. Yeah, good point. So, Daniel, we have an additional second and third level spell per day. Yes. All right, so I am definitely going Base to... Base went up, tonight. and all of our saves went up. <gasps> we got a rogue talent, and our trap sense goes up by plus one. I'm out. See you guys later. See you, bitches.